Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to your best source for the newest <laughs> Atari 2600 and 7800 tonight. Yeah. Games. Yeah. And we're on time tonight. Yeah. And the cats are on time too. What's going oh, on oh, with this? Oh, cats are going crazy. You might see some cats tonight. Yeah, pixels um, in a mood. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. The cats are right outside the door. <laughs> wow, on time. Yes, yeah. Vitoko. Shocking. Um, tonight we have three 7800 games. One is an exclusive update. Cool. Popeye. Yeah. Yay. Which I'm very excited to play game. again. Yep. And we're also going to be playing Galaxian by Pac-Man Plus, Bob De Crescenzo, mm. and also a uh, game we have not played as well. We haven't played Galaxian either. Wizard's Dungeon mm. by Bido Empire, and it's his first game. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who subscribe to the channel, <laughs> whose names are scrolling down the side. Side Tanya, uh, 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Fur Arms Car Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan, AVC Directs, All MU Dan, Great Offender, Gretams Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Juan Urado, Carl G, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Miss Command, Mech, K Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strong, Pack Rat VG, Gog 2600, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Where S. Ramirez, <laughs> Stephen A, uh, D Train 37, you're freaking out. Uh, uh, yeah. The Welshman, you know Thrust26, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. No. Why? Why are you freaking out? Oh, no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> never I thought mind. I just subscribed you to your own channel. Subscribe me to my own channel. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> I, I resubscribe because cause it, I haven't been subscribed in a while. Yeah. But I find it never goes through. No, it, it didn't pop up. No, and the last time, the last couple of times I've done it during the stream, it doesn't do it. Maybe it's like. You can't Delayed? subscribe from the house you're recording from. Now. Mm. <laughs> it's Darcy like it has knows. done it too, and, I it, don't know and why. it didn't it, work for him either. I show up on the list, but it never actually comes through. That's anyway, really weird. It's all good. It's all good. Sorry, I didn't oh, mean to interrupt. I'll reload. For That's a second good. there, I thought nope, that. Nothing. Uh, oh well. Yeah, uh -huh. it happens. You it can happens. support the show and subscribe for free. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime mm -hmm. and click subscribe like Tanya just did, mm -hmm. and it didn't work, but yours will. It should. Uh -huh. I see. Who do I see there? Most recent Miss Command? Miss Command. Yeah. Let's let's just pop one. Oh. Uh, Pac-Man's following. He followed seven hours ago. Um, you can follow as well if you want to get alerts. Is um, it just really slow? It might be. Thanks yeah. for pretending to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> bleep, 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 I, I bleep, love this show. Bleep, bleep. It's great. I'm subscribing every month. <laughs> That's right. I subscribe every month. <laughs> um, seems uh, I have to hit it in three places, separate separate places to subscribe. It's hmm. I I yeah. Is it not straightforward? I don't. I, no, you you click a button and the little star yeah. fills in. So oh, I don't there know. we go. Carl G did it. There it worked. Carl G just subscribed. And there's there's a pixel cat wagging his tail. Waggy, waggy, wag. And he's Is running he? out of the room. Oh. Yeah. You see it down here? I don't know right? why mine. Yeah, right. no, I see it. Here. There. He's waggy. There. Oh, it's gone. I don't very, know why cool. mine doesn't show up, though. Uh, okay. Thanks, Carl G. 16 months. Currently on a 16 wow. month streak. Never missed a month. Wow. That's awesome. I'm not logged into the stream, though. Is that why it's not showing up? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the workings of Twitch. It's mysterious. Um, and thanks everybody for watching live on Twitch, which we uh, broadcast live on Twitch if you're watching us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not a convenient time for people, but you can always watch it later on YouTube. Uh, but thanks everybody for watching Metalunar7, Dan AVC, Carl G, Miss Command, uh, Vitoko, Car uh, Moo Cows, Moo Cows. Moo Cows. NT Lab, uh, myself. Uh, Flackets, which <laughs> I think he renamed to Vidoko. Oh, I see. Um, and Dan AVC, and nice. everybody else who's lurking. Yay! Um, 640 followers. Yes, I've put up the number of followers on there now. Nice! Because it's at a, you know, a reasonable number. I think that's a nice, that's a that's really a lot good of number. That is a lot of people. Those are the people that get notified every time we go on the air. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So, you know, if you want to be notified, and yeah. Ricardo Pam. Hello! Just snuck in. <laughs> um, what was I going to... Oh, I have a poll question tonight. Uh, it is... Here we go. We're playing 7800 games. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would ask what type of joysticks everyone uses for their 7800. Because we've been using the pain line controllers. <laughs> the pain line. Pro, pro line controllers. Yeah. Um, so that's option one. Option two is uh, one button, 2600 compatible joysticks. Mm -hmm. Because if you only play games that only require one button, you can 
have a plethora of joysticks. That's very true. But some require two. Yeah. Um, or do you use third-party joysticks like Ed Ladin, like the one we're getting soon? Mm -hmm. um, there's a number of people that make them. Or um, the Sega Master System or Genesis or uh, Mega Drive slash Mega Drive mm -hmm. um, using an adapter like the Seagull 78 mm -hmm. or the adapters that we're going to play with tonight mm -hmm. that were sent to me. We'll talk about those in a bit. Um, or do you did you make your own two button joystick up because people can make their own? That's true. Um, so we are not playing with the Proline joystick. So I'm going to. Yeah, Carl G. Put no in. option for wireless wireless Bluetooth <laughs> controllers via Genesis receiver. Uh, Is that a thing? Yeah, you'd still yeah. have to have an adapter to plug it in to plug because in. it doesn't need. I it would mm -hmm. natively get one button with that. Yeah. So uh, one button at that point, unless you have an adapter that uses two. So you, that would be an option. The, the wireless is irregardless. You'd still have to plug something into your 7800. But right now we are using number four because we're using uh, Sega Genesis controllers tonight. Oh, cool. Excellent. Instead of those terrible, terrible original joysticks. Mm -hmm. so yeah, much, I'm, so I'm, much I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Um, mail news and feedback. Uh, something very exciting happened. Where is it? There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, Howard Scott Warshaw tweeted to me this morning and he said, uh, zero page homebrew. Are you aware that my latest book actually has a page zero and a chapter zero in reference to the show's name? Yes. And, uh, and, uh, I, I have that book and I've been reading it. I don't know if he was just looking well, for Atari 2600 things or if he watches the show because I did show it on or there. quite quite possibly um, uh, someone I, I think I alerted said this before, someone it. alerted to the fact that you mentioned his book so that could that's be quite it. possible or he watched the award show yeah, as that's well really cool could have watched the award show that was you know a big thing yeah um, and I said I didn't that's an awesome bonus I'm about a quarter way through the book and loving it thanks so much for writing it nice. Howard yeah. it's in the other room beside the bed it so is i, I can i it. can yeah i can verify that yeah so i read a bit <laughs> at night yes um mm -hmm. so that was that was kind of cool he yeah. he if people don't know who he is he a, he was a 2600 programmer mm -hmm. um and he made yars revenge which is cool. an awesome game such I a love creative game. game yeah um which was uh an adaption of star castle arcade very different than star castle arcade but mm -hmm. the basics are there he made indiana jones um game mm -hmm. and he made et which is one of the most infamous, famous yeah. 2600 games. That's cool. And he, and he wrote a book about his, his adventures. His experiences, yeah. uh, uh, Making 2600 That's games. Really cool. The chat is seriously lagged tonight. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, people can tell because they type. And then it shows up on the screen, right? Oh, well, yeah, yeah true, true. Um, sometimes it's your buffer as well, depending on your stream speed and where you mm. are and settings you have. Um, a little bit of everything. A yeah. little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So, feedback from the last show, um, which we uh, played a bunch of games through the Quadtari. Um, uh, Logan Jorgensen suggested a name from a Family Guy episode uh, for <laughs> Hungry Hungry Hippos. Oh! Uh, which was kind of funny. <laughs> and it's... Uh, no, not Family Guy. Oh! American Dad. American Dad, yeah, yeah. Um, so here it is. Starving, starving rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be an alternate name if somebody wants to make uh, yeah. the Hungry Hungry Hippos. They can use that name. Yeah, that's great. Um, or another one like that. Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny that he sent that's that in. That's awesome. Uh, I contend Pac-Man killed the industry, not E.T. It is a bunch, a plethora of things that <laughs> uh, get in the industry. Most blamed is the um, glut of terrible software. Yeah. Um, and that terrible software went into bargain bins, which everybody which bought the tanked. which yeah. everybody bought the bargain bin stuff for a dollar, yeah. two dollars, and then nobody bought the expensive stuff, and all those companies went under. Yeah. But there's many contributing yes, factors. The economics of it are quite interesting. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Retro says set said ladybug looks like a huge improvement over the last attempt and that one was pretty fun champ games is pretty much the equivalent of activision from the 2600 era. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy with confidence that every game is great and worth your money 100 yeah, they agree. they would be like the activision equivalents yeah. um 
you don't even have to worry about when you buy one of their games. It's just so good. So solid and such a big like a and and, and so usually a lot of people puts out too. It, it passes in front year. of a lot of people to before it you know it does. He he demos his game throughout. Yeah. Usually for quite a while mm -hmm. and through many iterations, and public he has, iterations. He has a lot of different people doing different functions too. So that as well. I think all that that yeah, helps it contributes to, a lot. Contributes to the quality of the game, but that's cool. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. I think that's only the only two things I've wrote down for the feedback. Um, we have some new games coming up from Muddy Funster. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd go over them really quickly. Uh, here we go. Uh, he said, while working on EXO and finishing off Danger Zone, I needed to have some other distractions to tinker with. He's going crazy with the number of games. Yeah. Uh, he's restarted Track and Feel from scratch, um, but he's also started some other ones. And he also may put a note in here for me. I consider these to be tech demos and tests, not games. Zero Page Homebrew, I'm looking at you. Because I make a list of every game that comes out uh, and information. He's like, do not put these in the list. They're not games yet. That's funny. I'm not working on them yet, officially. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't put them in the list. Um, because this is the influence of your of your um, <laughs> award show. People are like, I, I'm not, I don't want to be on the list yet. I'm not. Don't there put me yet. on the list. <laughs> I don't want to be judged by this yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, because usually as soon as they put a video out, that's when I put them on the list of games. Mm. So they did. He did put some videos out. Um, this first one is a tech demo test uh, inspired by Walker on the Amiga. Um, so this is his uh, video that he has. So thank you, Ask for Mayors 2008. Uh, subscribe for 21 months. Oh my god, I didn't say the streak. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, so he's got uh, a robot walking, and he's got some uh, army guys going there, and he's got a crosshair moving around. And it is based off of Walker on the Amiga. And let's take a look at that. Uh, YouTube gonna work or should i just do i'll just play it from here that'll be easy see I so still, there's i have not come up in on any of the subscribe things so there is Sorry. the amiga game <laughs> so he's he's got the the mech there and it has some scrolling and a background and you're shooting multiple enemies it's very very cool so that one i'm looking forward to it looks like a metal slug Mm. A little bit because of the graphics and it's got scrolling, but you're in a mech instead of a guy. Mm. Who, Captain Classic says, who is making the clock with backward <laughs> running hands emoji? I don't know. I don't you know. You can what step this up is. and do it. <laughs> oh, he was he was referencing a joke last time, or continuously about mm. us being late all the time. Oh, haha. -ha. And the clock is going backwards, <laughs> right? Yeah, we do need to do that. Yeah. Uh, the next one he is also working on is uh, based off of the arcade game by Namco, uh, Motos. So here's a little uh, video that he has got going of what he's got. So it's a grid. You're that uh, little ship. And there's enemies, mm. little ball. And I'll show you what the arcade version looks like. Like oh wow! 1985. Oh wow! So it's like you're, bumper cars. Yeah, bumper cars, but uh, things explode. Things can disappear, and those turrets are shooting at you, oh. and you're trying to not fall off the edge. Oh, that's you're cool. You're trying to bump them off the edge. It is bumper cars. And I saw on part of this Very video that dangerous you, bumper cars. You can actually make holes by jumping up and slamming down. There you go. Oh. And make them fall through. Oh, that's right? smart. Right, and bump them into it. Oh, you can bump more. Oh, you can push those oh, off. Oh, you, you can, can destroy, destroy those. Destroy the turrets too. So that looks like a ton of fun. That's really cool. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, project nine. He says I've also got another project that actually jumped ahead in terms of how it's coming together, and we will go to that right now. Mm. Mm. It is called Oops, uh, Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum. Nice. And uh, his wife knit this because oh. I guess she saw the <laughs> she liked character. She the sprites then. Yeah. That is super cute. So there's the title screen. Here's the play field. There's another play field. We're going to take a look at uh, quickly if 
my uh what's going on? It looks puzzly. Oh there we go. Yes. So there's the title screen. Oh, I already like the Bernie. Yeah. Bernie's very Bernie's cute. Right. Uh I'll does he sit gold. on a folding chair with <laughs> No, he should. So I it kind of looks like Hubert, the same action, you're changing colored square colors. Yeah. But it's flat Q. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Flat and I, Q-bert. And I told him that uh, you would <laughs> like, like it a lot better because it doesn't have the 45 yeah, degree that. angle. It's like my D train says, Oh my god, he's so cute. Yeah, he is so cute. Buffer showing 30 seconds of latency to the broadcast nearly 50 seconds. Oh, you can be back in time then, cross <laughs> It's okay. Orthogonal or orthographic cuber action. action. <laughs> That's right. It's 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 the it's the uh, pyramid squish down yeah uh he's referencing <gasps> cartography terms i yep. guess it's like the world is like it's a flat, flat square yeah. yeah but that looks like so much fun that looks really cute um i love those yeah, and and really there's an start. different enemies yeah. right um, oh, that's and you're trying cute. to avoid them while changing colors and there's holes to and fall, not through. fall through yeah, yeah. And you can't fall off the edge yeah that is super cute and some atari vox speech in there so nice. definitely let's see if we can hear that Oh, perfect character for a patch. Good call. Oh, yes. Yes. Is there? Uh, I don't think he has sound. No, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that would be an awesome patch. Let's go back to us. Those, those big eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> They're super, super cute. They are. Um, so we're using tonight Bye, Tari. a connector mm -hmm. sent to us oh, by yes 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 tail trail yeah and let me just show you what it looks like up close and i have a question for people about this so there it is and there's a little switch on it that switches between oh, it's not really focusing but it's like focusing on me oh well you can kind of see it has a little red switch on it that goes between one button controllers and two button controllers. Mm. Um, so he said in his letter here to me that if it doesn't work on one button, switch it to two and vice versa. All right? Got that there. Oh, switch back. Um, and I was playing it around with it today for mm. the first time in the concerto menu. I have to switch it to one button, but all the homebrew games, I have to switch it back to two button. Okay. So every time I load a game, I have to switch it back Just and flip forth. Flip it back and forth. Yeah. And so I was wondering if anybody out there has one of the hmm. Seagull 78 adapters made by Ed Ladin and it's sold through Atari Age as well. Hmm. And whether you guys have to flip back and forth, you have to have Concerto and the Seagull 78 hmm. combo. Um, to let me know mm. if that is something that you guys have to do. Mm. Um, because then, obviously, the Seagull 78 would be superior to this. Because I wouldn't have to be switching it back and forth. But it's working, so... It, it is totally working. Yeah. I yeah. just have That's to flip the switch, part. which is fine. Yeah. Um, so I'm not complaining, which is great. But if the Seagull 78 has problems like that, too, then maybe it's something in the concerto and he just hasn't tested it with mm -hmm. a seagull 78 or something like this and it's always an official uh 7800 controller mm. yeah anyway i thought i'd put that out there uh somebody some people have noticed early that we have two new names uh little patches oh yeah actually they only noticed one yeah. but we have two of them I added them today, mm -hmm. and one is uh, the Atari symbol. Nice. And one is the Atari Age symbol. Nice. Um, so if you want to use those, then you can use those. Nice. I don't. I is don't it know. available to just the people subscribed? Is that I usually what think, happens? Yeah, yeah, you have to be subscribed. Yes, it's a zero page one. To use the, to use these, and I think the Atari Age one is in a separate category. I'm not sure. <laughs> If that that's like limited to certain subscribers, mm. I think tier one or I don't know. People can play around with it. I am Very not cool. super familiar with uh, how that works. Oh yes, you can unlock with points too. Oh, actually. somebody yeah. up there said they have forty thousand points. <laughs> so four hundred and fifty is yeah. Probably everybody so who's been here for a couple of weeks has four hundred and fifty uh, yeah. points. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how much. How many points do people have? Lots. Ten. 
Ten thousand? I have no idea. I didn't even know. See, yeah, sixty thousand. I didn't even tons. know points were a thing. And we were watching a DJ. Yeah. And I was like, I have points. I, I have like points. I I, I don't watch a lot, but um, they do kind of um, you know increase yeah. over time. I didn't even realize. See, eighty-three. 83. Yeah. Four hundred fifty is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I, I felt guilty. It's like, oh, people have to spend points to put them up on the screen. Yeah. You're in 50 for watching every five minutes. I know. I mean, it goes up really fast. Yeah. So yeah. that's not a problem. It's good stuff. I can add two more. Uh, I have slots for two more icons. Oh, cool. So I'm going to make some more. I'll try and think of some. Nice. I also have to think of some more t-shirts for us to, for, to make. Oh, we'll, we'll find Maybe. a t-shirt. Can I yeah. make it sparkly like the sign? Ooh, yeah. Like sparkly a, like ZPH. A, yeah, yeah. In yeah. blue, sparkly with the, yeah, the clock. The clock. The, <laughs> the backwards clock. The clock would be a good one. That would be a good icon. <laughs> Somebody has to make it. I, yeah. I don't know if you can make animated ones. I don't think you can. I don't think no. I've seen any animated ones. No. But but a, a backwards clock, like reversed, all yeah. the numbers are weird. or th You can see like a motion of the hand, the yeah. second hand or something. That'd be hilarious. That's because I watch another Twitch show. <gasps> what? Another Twitch Dan! show? <laughs> I thought Twitch was just for ZPH. Um, for some people it is. <laughs> the Atari Age emote you get by cheering a thousand uh, bits overall on your channel. Oh, okay. Mm. So you get it for cheer cheering. So okay. it's obviously... And Dr. Mookow's has cheered one, it says? <laughs> I have no idea. And we're, I don't know. we're on Twitch. We don't know how any of this works. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I just know it streams really well. And yes. Everybody comes It's a great here. platform and people watch us. So we're going to get to the first game. We're not IT support, are we? <laughs> not for Twitch. Not for Twitch. <laughs> Probably for our parents, but... Oh, that's Try to avoid that as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to look at Popeye the Arcade game first before we jump Twitch? into it. Yeah. Um, because just to kind of familiarize ourselves with what it looks like in comparison to the 7800 and how good of a job that uh, Daryl has done. It's just unbelievable. No, I have to keep these on mute because... Is it really loud? In case it mm. copyright garbage oh yeah <laughs> probably video games not gonna be too bad so we'll keep it what happens do they take your st your stream down they mute it on um twitch yeah um on on youtube it's not so bad yeah they just take your advertising money of which i have none yeah that's so true. i don't care <laughs> <laughs> so this is the you saw the intro oh the my first gosh i mean the it was really impressive for its time yeah like, unbelievably detailed it is cartoonish. really detailed so this is sorry this is the arcade version this is the arcade version and and when really i nice. saw this in the arcade back in whatever it is 1982 it, it is it was unbelievable quite how impressive. far ahead yeah the graphics were in it uh, so that is a look at the first level there's what the second level looks mm. like and uh, daryl's done an amazing job and all the people who've helped him. There's a lot of, a lot of names. The names, yeah. Yeah. And then the third level, the ship. There we go. Nice. Yeah. And uh, he's done a number of improvements mm. on this new version. This is an exclusive new version we're going to be seeing. That's not posted yet. Um, so that's, that's what, uh, that's what the arcade looks like. There we go. So let's get to the game here you go and i'll switch it to a uh, single button mode <laughs> right now because we have to and i'll switch it over to game system there you go press the fire button b yeah b is number one c is number two so b go down to okay. today uh what day is it popeye and the first one Number one? Yeah. Oh, I love that little watch. It is very cool. It gives you something to look at. Is that, that that's from old it's not freezing. Apple systems, right? The watch? I don't know about Apple. It's Apple. Um, don't start yet. Oh. Don't tell me that beforehand. He has changed the front picture. Did, has he? It was really stretched out and wide. Oh. Um, so, oh, who was it that uh, posted a ton of new graphics for him in the uh, in the <gasps> forum? 
Yep. Little pipe. Doo -doo. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Programming graphics. I can't remember who it is, but you can check in the um, um, in the forums. Yep, looks better. Very close to the arcade. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. um, I think I can still bring it up. Yep. So let's go back to just one second. I'm going to switch back to the arcade one for a second and pause it on the title screen. Mm. So you can see. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. And then I'm going to switch back and forth. So um, press a direction, not the button. <laughs> no, it's just, it doesn't say so press. So there's um, the 7800 version. There is the arcade version. Wow. Just. Really, like, a lot of attention so to detail close. there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Way to go. So good. Wow. Yeah. That looks great. Does Popeye toot? Popeye does toot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's get into it. So wait, a uh, one-player game. So, or two. One? Oh, we'll do one this time. I would set the level low so you can do well. So there's arcade novice. <gasps> it's doing crazy sounds. It's not supposed to. What? Um, so he's put novice as green. And I think he might have done that for scoring purposes. Because if you post like a video or a score and you won't be able to tell what level type of level you're playing on unless you have some indicator. And um, green might be a bit much though <laughs> of green background. Oh, I didn't see it till Zed Page did the side by side with the arcade. So uh, let me list out what changes have been done. Uh, fixed graphical issues in the first level, a missing pixel and upper level oh, scaling. Bad timing. Uh, PlaySoft found a fix for the static flash after the Atari logo disappears before the game loads. Adjusted the blue level for the sh uh, blue for the ship level. Fixed Brutus's proportions a little. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Uh, Defender uh, 2600 drew a Popeye head that is in more more in proportion. So it was Defender 2600 that did that um, intro graphic. Um, adjusted the skin tones to be a bit less pink. Those are way better now. Um, the skin mm. colors on both um, a little, Brutus yeah. and mm. or Bluto. I don't know. can't remember which one it is in this game. He has two names. And also Popeye. The skin colors were very like... Like they've been in the sun too long? Like they <laughs> just hammering the button there. <laughs> it works. Ah! ah, run! He can't go this through the screen, so it's okay. Ah! Uh, Crossbow says the windows are tall again on the second level. Awesome. Wonder if the flicker I get in this title screen still happens with the version on my daily driver 7800. Ooh, I have to find out. Uh, added a high score table reset feature. Holding reset while pressing both fire buttons enables the menu. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Oh. You have to make it to the third level. I will. <laughs> um, since Concerto doesn't have high score functionality yet, it uh, display it may display if Atari Vox or key is inserted. What? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, reverted the re uh, re revision F background to dark brown. Looked green here. Uh, arcade Rev F background is pink and it wouldn't adapt well. I've experimented. Weird. Interesting. Um, so, what was I saying about the high score? Holding reset while pressing both fire buttons enables the menu. It won't save it anyway. No? Okay, so press what? Both buttons? Both buttons? Oh, there we go. Erase high scores. Try up, down, left, right. Oh, there we go. No and yes. Oh, very cool. So go. No. I don't know. <gasps> Crazy sound. See, I just go reset and it's fine. Press, press go. 
It's very weird. It's it doesn't always do it. Mm. Jump on the trampoline to go back to the top. Mm, yes, yes. Don't get cornered. Go to the left. Yeah, wrapping around makes a big difference. Okay, so uh, my turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're playing the green background again. You want green? So ugly. So there's some strategy tips. You could. Sure. I'm not gonna play novice. Cause I hate that background. <laughs> so. Terrible looking. And it's good practice to do the arcade. First stage contains the most gameplay features of all the stages. Mmm, because of the barrel drop. And... Yeah, the barrel drop, I guess. He can climb down the central ladder, but not back up, and he can warp from one side of the screen to the other via the top ledge. Yes. Olive will throw hearts that waft and float down to the water below. They move in a somewhat unpredictable pattern, with some falling at a faster rate than others. Picking them up at a higher level earns Popeye more points. I did not know that. Oh. Uh, if a heart reaches the water below, you only have a few moments ah. to run down to pick it up before it is lost forever, which results in the loss of one life. Um, all the while, Brutus will try to Brutus. catch Popeye. Yes, he will. If he succeeds, you lose one life. <laughs> so like if he is one ledge below you, he will try to grab your feet from below. If he is above you, he may try to swipe at your head. Yes, he will. Uh, Who was it? Should be in the left on the chat. It's Twitch gone. followers. No, it what wasn't there when there? I looked. It's... Maybe it was you. I'm Who, not saying it still says sub S Ramirez, and that was from before. Oh, it followed might be a follow. 64 no, no new follow number. 640? No, that's fo Dead. total followers. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Something happened. Oh, the sound is crazy. Oh, I is. replaced my sound chip. Now it's back. Oh. Something's really weird. Uh oh. I took out a sound chip out of a 5200 machine. Oh, oh, I should have saw him jumping down. He can jump down a level. Yeah, and I know reach he got down. me. He got me another time too when I was a little cornered. So, and all my tests worked out fine. Hmm. Now this new revision of Popeye is Causing acting some, up. Yeah. bag and bucket. See how it warps into the level. Blah blah blah. You know this stuff already. Uh, those are the basics. There's the next yeah. page's uh, strategies. Is it? Yeah. Well, it speaks to the stages. Oh my god! The next page? It just talks about each of Walk the levels. Through? Oh. oh. Is that the, what you're on? Oh, okay. So I walk through. Okay. Well, you can. I'll, I'll wait till you get to the next level. Oh! You died? I did. Yeah, you don't get as many lives then as novice, so. No. I wonder how many years in the 2020 decade it'll take to double the 7800 library. Ooh, that's a good question. We aren't that far off already, as there was only 40 official 7800 games to begin with. Uh, yeah, it's a very small library. It did not do well. Even though it's a very, very capable machine, as you can see. Bido 8-Bit says, uh, noob question, can you watch these later or is it live only? My kid is almost out of his bath. How negligent a parent can I afford to be? <laughs> yes, you can. Ah, my God. For, you can watch it on Twitch. You can watch then, it on Twitch later. And then it's posted to YouTube after that too. 24 so. hours later, posted on 24 YouTube. hours, yeah. You know why? I'm not getting the spinach. I'm just like playing. Like totally Going neglecting everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not really how you should play because you get points for the spinach. But you want to get, you want to time it up so the spinach is when you're kind of in trouble, mm -hmm. but you want to use it up before the end. So I'll, I'll use it up now. So he gets a sunburn, so I'll think. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, apparently a calcium allergy. <laughs> Brutus cannot see above or below him. No? So when you want to get him while well, you have the spinach power. Yeah. You want to wait at a stair yeah. or a ladder mm -hmm. for him to come by and then go down. Don't start going down. Mm -hmm. 
because he'll run away from you. The, did you read the tips on this one? What, on did this you? stage? Yes, please. So, uh, not as much room to maneuver, oh my God. But, but fortunately there are not as many notes as there were hearts that no. need to be caught either. Olive, Olive plays the harp on the balcony and the notes she plays drop down in a similar fashion to the hearts. Uh, employ the same strategy for collecting them as you did oh, for the hearts spinach. in stage one. Higher equals more points, but don't risk it if Brutus is near. The spinach is stationary, so it will be easy to grab in case Popeye needs it. Popeye can only warp from one side to the other via the third level from the bottom, but Brutus can't do the same, so use it for a quick getaway. Um, there's a seesaw at the lower left corner of the screen with Wimpy standing on the other end. Jumping on it causes Popeye to shoot up to the highest available ledge, but beware as Brutus can do the same. If Sweet Pea is low enough, when Pop Popeye flies to the top, he can grab the bar for 500 bonus points, or 1,000 if he has just eaten spinach. Interesting. Did not know that. You're, you're not listening, but that's fine. No. It's too I late now. That. You've, you've moved, <laughs> changed levels, so. <laughs> too late. Uh, the All sea the hag appears in the same fashion as she does in the first stage. Since there is less room to get away from the bottles than before, use the gaps in the floor and through what just sides. Happened? Oh. And the seesaw to get away from dangerous situations. I and like then that. now in the ship stage. Mm hmm. No? Yeah, I uh, left one of the help things to go on too long. Mm, you got ya. Oh no! Cornered! No, ran out! Uh, stage starts out, uh, the ship stage starts out with Bernard dumping poor Olive at the top of the ship. In order for Popeye to rescue Olive this time, he must capture all the letters H-E-L-P that Olive tosses down. Yeah, it's Brutus, right? Brutus. Brutus. Yeah, not Bluto in this one. Yeah. Uh, I never you could knew you could punch the bird. Does that work in the arcade version too? Yes, it does. Mm. Yes, that would be very hard if you couldn't punch the bird. So homebrews. Oh, wait! I didn't notice this. Does this happen in the last stage? With every letter that Popeye claims, a rung of a ladder is added that reaches yes. up to the top. Because that's how you rescue that her in the end. Yeah. Because um, you can't have access to it. When all of the letters are collected, the letter is complete. The letter is inaccessible to Popeye, so must use the steps on the ship. There is a platform that moves back and forth on the highest level. If Popeye steps on it, it'll immediately slide over to the opposite side, which can be used to help speed up the collection of the letters. Mm -hmm. Besides Brutus and the Sea Hag, there is an extra threat uh, in stage with the continuous attacks by Bernard the Vulture. Bernard is easily stopped <laughs> by punching him in the beak. Oh. Um, but it doesn't take long for him to recover and return again. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Very fast. Animal cruelty. Uh, the <laughs> spinach on this level alternates between two points. The gaps in the floor can make it difficult for Popeye to grab Brutus when he eats the spinach, so time travel between levels carefully. Time travel. There you go. And also, if your hearts are need to be rescued, getting the spinach is a good idea. Because it causes everything, right? Yeah. So if you're very close to one of the hearts sinking right into the water, then definitely go for the spinach. If you're like nowhere near it. Oh, and you want to do this too. For more points. 2,000 points. For what that's worth. Good job. Yeah. And it, and it disables Brutus for a little bit. Yeah. Good stuff. Baby Pac-Man is a home console exclusive. Yes. Mm. That, because it's it's very challenging to make because uh, it's a pinball and a video game. Yes, very cool. Oh god. Ah. Uh oh. Get the notes. Get them. This is a. There's not a lot of room in this in this level. No. Get the spinach. Oh. Mm, still a bit no, early. No, not yet. Not yet. A bit early. If I was in so trouble. So apparently, if you jump off the bottom and hit the baby at the top. Yes, he catches you. You no, you get huge bonus points. Hit the baby. Yes. What do you mean? Like, there, you got five hundred points. Okay, well. So you pull him down. It's some. So it's, now I'm gonna get it. It's not. <laughs> it's not small. Nothing to shake a stick at. It's true. This one's. It's really hard to get him. <laughs> it's because he just stays on that, that level, level and goes is back brutal. and forth. Yeah. yeah. That that floor. 
I usually use the bucket to stop Brutus and then grab, grab the spinach, spinach to take him out. Yeah. Uh, you could do it. You could do them separately or combine mm. them. I don't, I don't know if you get extra points punching him mm. with the spinach. You get a lot of points for punching that, uh, punching the bird. You can get a lot. Of oh. yeah, you, you do have, have to, to time, time it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like my punch went through him though. Which is a lot. Because he comes back he comes back so often. Hey, get back here. Oh my god, that age. Oh, they move fast sometimes. There are a lot of runs in this yeah. level. It it takes a long time. Jump off the edge. There you go. Oh, he's gonna go down! Ah, I hate it when he does oh, that! I, I wish you do could anything. duck. I wish you could duck. I no. always feel like you should be able to go. Poof. You can't duck or jump in this game. Ah! God damn it. Ah! Sweat pee. <laughs> Sweat pee. <laughs> okay, your turn. Ah, oh, babies are sweaty. <laughs> they are. They are full of terrible liquids. <laughs> uh, am I playing again? Uh, yep. All right. Go for arcade. Spire of the Ancients, Dragon Cash, Night Guy. I mean, I let me take a look at what. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, ah. How many games are just this year for 7,800 that have had updates? It's like 1, 2, oh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, fast. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 games just this year have had updates in for yeah. 7,800. They said the full library is 40 games, so just this year, half of the library has already been really made up, half. so 50%. So I think we'll probably just eclipse it, eclipse the 7800 original library. So if you, if you bank on, like, let's just say 25 games a year, and you do 10 years... Um, I mean, it wasn't as many games last year. So let's go 20. 20 games a year, so it averages out. So 200 games in 10 years, if it kind of wow. keeps keeps steady. Oh, that was a quick game. Oh, should terrible. Play again. Yeah, I'm going to play <laughs> That was just terrible. Full of typos today. <laughs> sweepy. Yeah, you can drop the, the T, because I don't think he says sweet P. Actually, a lot of accents. Take, take Around the, the world, tea. English accents take off the tea. Yeah. There's very few people say sweet pea, sweet pea, sweet pea. Or it's a very un... No, you can't do that. Oh. You have to do the spinach. That's very early spinach. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I never get it anyway. I always, oh, okay. I always forget to do it, so... Get those hearts. Of olive oil, a little walk. She's like... Sh -sh 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 -sh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The graphics in this are just astoundingly good. Like the little flower at the top and the little grass tufts at the at the top. Oh, oh you didn't wasn't even punch. Paying I wasn't paying attention. Because you have to pay attention to him too. Because I he, know I was he, like looking at he him. He gives indicators. He looks up and looks down before he does his action, yeah. which obviously you need, or else you just die immediately. Oh yeah, somebody said you can still punch the bag for points, which is true. Oh, no, no. Oh, ah, I can't get, get down. Out of there. No, you know what? I can't do that on the edge when he's on the edges. You can't it's go very down because he jumps down so quickly. Yeah, or reaches down. Yeah. Too. Yeah, somebody said you can punch the bag over and over for points. And I yeah. think it's five, three or five hundred. I'm not sure. Oh. <gasps> oh, I thought no. I was close enough to hit it. Yeah. One more game for you. One more. You gotta see how it looks good. Yeah. Stay. It's not recording it. He doesn't have the functionality yet. Uh, let me. What did you put? T T T. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fast. fine. That's oh, fast enough. I'll I'll accept that. That's okay. <laughs> so the highest scoring game in the world for the arcade, three million points. Oh my god. Do you know why? Because I fell <laughs> Zero down. Zero hearts. I thought it was gonna get him. <laughs> I was going to get him. In 2011 by Benjamin M. Falls from the Twin Galaxies Ugh. set. Okay, I misspoke. It looks about 60 official release titles of the Atari Age database is semi-correct. 
Uh, Trebor also has a very comprehensive, um, complete list of homebrew uh, for the 7800. Let me see if I can grab it. There it is. Oh, I can't paste it. Ugh. Maybe I can do it without seeing it. Um... Anyway, you can search for Trebor's... Uh... Part. Good. What? You died again? Yep. Oh. I was doing better this time, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I can't paste it. Anyway, there's um, there's a full list uh, on the Atari uh, Age Forum in the Atari 7800 section. It doesn't add it up, um, but there is a, a very big list. Mostly... Uh, Actually, there's a lot of hacks as well. The largest list of original, of non-hack games. Actually, Muddy Funster makes up, makes up a lot. But Pac-Man Plus. Mm. One more for me. I is close to saying, when your audio input is not connected to the Atari box, there's static sound in the stream, FYI. What? <laughs> oh. Interesting. You know what? Mm. Darcy was talking about that the other day, too. Mm. He was saying they're static, right? Ow. You're getting shocks? Yes. That's not good. So let's connect it up. And I was like, because ah. then I listened to another stream and I was trying to diagnose it, but I must have. Is it gone now? No, don't, don't, don't start anything. Don't make any noise. Don't do anything. I'm, I'm seeing if there's static. Maybe I need to turn this on. Atari Fox Plus. Gone since. Ready. Oh, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Let me unplug it. Let's see how much higher it goes. Huh. Okay. Well, let's leave it plugged in. Interesting. Interesting. Might explain the static. Was Darcy it, watching the other? Uh, it, it was. It was a couple of weeks back. He said. Mm. He told me. And I, and I, then I listened and I couldn't find it. Probably because mm. the Atari box was plugged in at the time I was looking for back. it. Back. Right? It's back. Gone again. Weird. Static back, then gone again. Oh, I unplugged it for a second. As long as it's gone right now. If people could verify, somebody could verify it's gone now. Um. That would be super awesome. Actually, we're going to play the expert after this. Sure. Because I'm trying to make it to the ship level, uh, beat the ship level, so we can see the... Which you have done before. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to get that one. There, there we go. go. Let's go back up a bit. Ugh. Two, three, four, boom. Yeah, you just gotta watch his uh, watch his body. Uh, let's do this. Oh, come here! Oh my God, look at him freak out! I'll just go get him then. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, hopefully, Daryl sees that. Yeah. I don't think that's in the arcade. Yeah. I noticed that last stream. It went away when you plugged in the Atari box. Oh, the Atari box thank you so much. Because it's it's like has because it is plugged in mm. to my audio, right? But it's not plugged into anything. So it's like, has a ground issue maybe? When maybe. it's not plugged into something? Maybe, yeah. yeah. We are having some electrical, there, you're, there's like static <laughs> or something. You keep getting zapped over well, there. Well, it's, it's dry out. Yeah, but we were complaining about that before. <laughs> it's winter time. Our or cats, our something, cats are isn't, something isn't grounded correctly. Uh, maybe. Or is grounded. I'm not really sure how that <laughs> works. But. Ah! 
Oh, can you die from running into her? Apparently. <laughs> she did have the bottle. I did see the bottle. She threw static? it. Static? I didn't, I didn't hear any static. <laughs> well, something's going on. I'm glad somebody did. Yeah. Now we know why. There is static. It must have been very subtle. Uh, go, go, go. <gasps> oh, oh, he got he you on the way up. He started running as if he knew. Oh, that Brutus. I take that as a yes. She does kill you. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know because the bottle was out. The when oh, I died, was it? it froze when it just when came she out. just threw. Yeah. I I I always just assumed you couldn't. Uh... She's kind of an apparition. Yeah. Because she flashes in the arcade and and here too. Uh, one last one. I don't want to get the spinach. You almost killed me. Okay. Because oh. that gap, you can't really... It's really hard to get him on that level. Because mm. as soon as you get up, he goes the opposite way. Yeah, that's true. And you can't go over the gap. It's so hard. You can go through, though. You can. <laughs> Thousand points. Thousand points. <laughs> you definitely want to get as much as you ah. can on that upper level. Oh, yeah. Now to go down. Up, up, oh, up. we can jump over. Oh, he can? He'll yeah. hop over the... Oh, oh. over the gap? Oh, oh, he didn't get me. The bottle did. Oh, no. Too preoccupied with the bottle. Failed again. Oh, but so we'll close. go we'll go to the uh, advanced and okay. it shows some different things. Okay, I'm gonna be right. Bye bye. Uh, expert. Expert. Yeah. Because this has the skulls bouncing down. I haven't been able to clear this level yet on any of the previous builds. I have it is hard on arcade. Which which is good. You want it to be challenging, right? I always found the game very challenging, but super fun because there's three different screens, so it gives a nice variety. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh my God, I'm cornered. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> and this is also harder. So there's skulls you can see in the top right corner, and they will start falling down as soon as I come off that ledge. Oh, the skulls! What? 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 Oh my god. This is ah. what? Expert? Oh, that's good. I punched it. Yeah, expert. It's crazy. There are skulls? Oh my god, he evaded me. Get! Oh, you bastard. Come back here. There we go. Yeah, skulls that bounce down. So you have to dodge them? Uh, you can punch them. I just, oh my goodness. It's just craziness happening it's nuts. constantly. And he's so fast. He is fast. And the hearts go down really fast. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Run! <laughs> up, 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 up. Up, up, up. I'm gonna get this on. Ugh, oh, I missed it. Oh, I got it. Go down. That's so crazy. Oh no, you're gonna lose him. Oh gotta no. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, he's down there. I can't get them. Ah. One more. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Ah, there's too many things. Ah! Oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I don't know how you managed that. I don't that. think I've ever beaten this level in Expert. It's so hard. It's ah. manic. Expert's ridiculous, says S. Ramirez. It is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, whoa. Oh, god. I don't know how the heart stayed so long. Yeah. Just lucky. Lucky, yeah, lucky. I think very, I got it the I last think you got second. It. Yeah. Well, you can tell because it does, it does sink. Points. Look at that. Oh my god, look at all the skulls! <laughs> uh, go up! Oh! He's so fast! In a way, the moment you hit a skull, another falls down. So if you let yeah. it bounce bounce along, wow. Yeah. Okay, that is Popeye. It Very is cool. super awesome. Um, so that's the newest... It's not out yet, this version. Um, so Seems I'm... pretty close to final, though. 
is it, he is it was his the, last? This is a release candidate. Okay. And the really the only things he updated were colors okay. and graphics, not okay. not really any gameplay, no underlying code, just the graphics. So he's really really close, hmm. I think. Cool. So so we should be seeing a final version of that soon, hmm. at least a demo because he's been releasing demos. And his demos have been uh, limited lives, I think. You could get one life. <laughs> so oh, good so luck. you can just try it. Yeah, yeah so you can try all the far. levels. And yeah. You're not going to get very far. Yeah, unless um, you're really good. Yes. So let's go back and see what the results so far, I guess, of the poll are. Oh, yeah. If you haven't uh, put your number in, do it now. Yes. Uh, hmm. Well, they can't really see what the <laughs> the choices are. I don't think you can put it on the screen again. No? Oh, but it is on the screen there. They can see it. Oh, on yeah. the... Oh, good. So what type of joystick? It is uh, mostly the Seagull 78. Mm. Or, you know, an adapter. Uh, so half mm. the people are using that. Not a third-party controller, then? Uh, no. Hmm. No. Oh, just went down. <laughs> Somebody voted. <laughs> but it's still leading. Two people. It's still leading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to vote it. Hey, Ramirez, welcome. what was it? I, I joined to... late. Uh, uh, it's on, on the, the screen. screen now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what type of joystick do you use for your 7800? One, the pain line controller. Some people use that. <laughs> hey, if that's all you got, that's we all you got. We were using it yeah, we till <laughs> this episode. It was terrible. Uh, one button, 2600 compatible joysticks, which will work for a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, third party joysticks like Ed Ladin, which is coming. I can't wait for that because it's actual arcade joysticks. Um, number four, uh, adapters that change Genesis controllers through this. So you, it recognizes the second button nice. as the actual second button because it just, you know, translates. Mm -hmm. Or number five, I made my own and somebody, 20% uh, of people made their own. Oh, that's cool. Um, because the diagrams are on the Atari Age forums and on the internet where it's, and it's, fairly most of them are just pass-throughs right yeah up is up down is down yeah. left and left yeah. right yeah um well it depends if you're using like a joystick but it's i think that i think there's only two resistors if i remember correctly for making this if you want to make a simple one mm -hmm. yeah this so one not, seems not too complex, complex but this yeah. one has a switch and some other things yeah this one looks a bit more complex but uh, James, I saw that your uh, DF cart has shipped as well. It is very exciting. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the Dragonfly cartridge. Just waiting on customs. Well, after it's left, I think it's it from Poland it ships from. Oh, really? You can't, you oh, can't yeah. tell because there's no tracking outside of Poland, unfortunately. Usually what happens is, yeah, once it hits Canada, there's no more tracking anymore. It just tracks it to the border or whatever. So. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes some places do it, but... Poland. That's yes, cool. That's right. So let's fire up, oh, after I switch this, fire up Galaxian. Someone a while back, maybe it was Crossbow, was yeah. asking about what the temperature was like here. Uh, and well, uh, it's significantly improved. In a variety. Um, it's warmer than it was, and uh, the snow is all melted, so that's good. Yeah, um, we had two days of snow. We had two days of, of solid snow on the ground, and I woke up this morning, and most of it had melted, and it's just above zero. It's about three or four degrees, I think. Yeah, and it's been raining Celsius. a tiny bit. <laughs> not Fahrenheit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not today Fahrenheit. was sunny. Today was quite nice. So it's supposed to get a more normal temperature, which for us is about six Celsius. That's what most... The winter Yeah, is. around February. February is around, you know, five, six degrees. So, yeah, not terrible. Could be no. a lot worse. If you want to load up Galaxian, mm -hmm. please. Uh, um, and uh, I've been waiting to play this because it's Bob DeCrescenzo's new game. It's the A78. Newest games. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, 78. Yeah. Um, don't press I'm not touching anything. anything. I'm not. <laughs> Let it go. I we are the Galaxians. Mission nice. Destroy Aliens. Score, advanced table. So this tells you all the points you get mm -hmm. for all the enemies. And just like in Galaga, you get more points while they're flying. Gotcha. So you can Like dropping, like spinning I down. believe. See, okay. it says 40 and 80. So 40 when they're... Charger. 
convoy, convoy or charger. charger. Yeah, that makes sense. When they're charging? Charging them? down, yeah. And they're in their convoy I'm, at I'm the top. I'm going to guess, yeah. High score is zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was first posted January 16th. Nice. Uh, this builds from January 19th. He hasn't been working on it. He's been working on it behind the scenes for a, a while. Uh, and he hasn't posted a, an update recently. Mm. When I said, oh, I'm going to play it on the show, he's like, ah, it's an old build. <laughs> I've updated it so much, but he's not ready to release it yet. Uh, okay. So it's an older build that we're playing. Old-ish. Older, not really. Older. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's very, very functional. Mm. Pokey Sounds by Bobby Clark. Nice. Okay. So press button. Oh, can't. Because I have to switch it. Uh, Back to two button. There you go. I don't know if anybody answered my question about... Seagull 78. One player? Uh, do one player for now. You, I would go normal. Normal's easy, not that bad. Normal. Easy's really easy in this. Lives. I'm just seeing what the options are. Three or five. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll just stick with normal and three. Cute. So, Galaxian is kind of like the second step. Like, there's Space Invaders, and then there's kind of Galaxian. Then there's Galaga. Oh. Yeah, there's no explosion sound. <laughs> Bang. Bang. <laughs> so Galaxian was from 1979. Um, fixed shooter arcade oh. game developed and published by oh, Namco. Wasn't the other one Namco as well? Playing all Namco's time? Uh, where is that info? No, the other one was Nintendo. What am I talking about? Yeah, Nintendo uh, had Popeye before uh, they had Mario. They were, then they were like, oh, no, we don't have the licensing for Popeye anymore. We're going to make Mario. So he said in his first post, um, Hi guys, after Unowar S was done, I found that if I ripped out waves 1, 2, and 3, and left 0, we did some graphics manipulation and some code modifications. We basically have Galaxian. <laughs> uh, what I did to Uniwar S to get this, um, it converted the graphics from the arcade version of Galaxian to this, so it changed the graphics. Uh, changed the point values, dive bombing rules, number of enemies, formation. Moved the player down one zone. So you move, just shifted it down a bit. Mm. Uh, what I still need to do, this is old information, Animate leaving the flock so enemies move up and down around instead of just spinning in place. Because the first version was they were just stuck at the top. Possibly alter flight paths. Uh, code the alternative point values for the flagship when diving with ex escorts. Oh, you crashed right into, into me. Change the sounds, any bob bugs that pop up. What I had to compromise on, uh, I needed every sprite graphic. Oh, you dead? Yeah. Oh, good. Let's play again. That's fine. Need every sprite graphic I could use. The player's explosion is the size of the player instead of 32 by 32. Colors of the flagship. There is a little blue in there. Oh, there is tiny little things of blue. Um, the enemies only rotate in one direction when initially leaving the flock and settling back to, in, into the flock, as I didn't have enough sprite graphic space to have an entire rotation. Personally, I don't think this is a big deal, as I will hardly be noticed when playing. Um, so Synth Papalooza is doing uh, a bunch of the sounds. Mm. Um, Still working on it? Uh, yeah, I, I think he's done them, okay. mo mostly. He has posted a lot of them in the forum, in the thread, where you can go and listen to them all. Um, and they sound really, really good. So he is, um, so Bob is working on putting them into the new build. So we'll obviously play the new build when it comes out. Um, but right now they're standalone, but you can go listen to them. Ah. So on January 21st, he says, okay, I have the flag point values correct displaying on the screen. Not going to post a bin. This is after this version. Until I have the sounds correct. So what I have left, complete sounds, tweak enemy shots, diving, and overall difficulty ramp. If a flagship, flip, flagship attacks a player alone, it makes it past the player off the bottom of the screen. It has escaped the level shows up on the next one. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So if you shoot the two escorts with the flagship, he's coming down right now, and if oh. he made it off that screen, he, he wouldn't come back. Oh, he just came back. I know. He has to do that. He has oh, to he has to do it. Gotcha. Because the arcade does that. So Because that's worth that guy's worth a lot of points. 
Oh, worth so you lose the points for it in a yes, way. Yes, until the next round. Mm. So you want to shoot him while he's flying. So if you shoot his escorts, you definitely want to shoot him. Or else you lose it. Hmm. I just noted the pokey. Audio is fixed on this now. What happened? Until it used to sound really odd on shots until the previous version I played of this. Oh. I, I don't know. This is, this, is, this is a pretty old version. Uh, might be your pokey. Might be your concerto. <laughs> There's a lot of things in play right now. Might be your 7800. Uh, I'm... I, I'm sure there's a firmware for the concerto coming up very soon. Um, that will probably fix like a ton of issues, like mm. incompatibilities between um, concerto and mm. pokey chips. Uh, maybe it'll even fix the problems with the pokey chip that I just took out of the concerto. Mm. I'm gonna go to hard. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I'll go hard. Go normal. And I'll go. No, because normal is pretty... Five lives? Well, it'll, it'll be a longer game. Yeah. yeah. Hard, hard is hard. Is it because they just continually drop down? There's a lot of them that drop down, and they're shooting you a lot. <laughs> Especially after the first level. So he would have escaped. Mm. Which you don't want. So he's come back by himself, which would never happen. Mm. Ah. Yeah, he's ah. Like, ah. Oh, I tried to thread the needle there, but it didn't work. <laughs> oh, Atari's Oh, actually, I played it on the DF cart with Pokey Max. Others reported the same issue. Oh, my God. Not paying attention. No. <laughs> oh. And... So, I, I don't know. This is this is the latest version, which is, mm. like, a couple weeks old. So, I don't know. Maybe check your version. Or maybe the Dragonfly has uh, some compatibility mm. issues with this game. Or, not sure. I haven't heard any, any problems being reported with the Dragonfly hmm? um, cartridge. With playing... Which playing games playing or games. pokey or anything. That's excellent. Well, like, everybody's like, mm, obviously well tested. no complaints at all, yeah. <laughs> They've done a good job. Oh, yeah. We're oh. making sure it's compatible. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I see lines. Every, I like, do, a black line going across. I've yeah. Seen, I saw that when, too. When they're diving, sometimes, not there. It didn't show. No, oh it, it's just once that I noticed it, and that yeah. was the one time. I there. think you there. suddenly just, just died. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. So I wonder if it's a pattern or if it's just, um, or if it is a completely black line. I thought maybe they lined up maybe. in a certain way that kind of gave the illusion of a black line. But oh, there. oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I that think was, it's only with the flagships. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. But because I don't see it. Oh, I just saw it again. With one of the purple guys? Yes, but it was oh. when one of the flagships was dropping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw it again. Okay, there is a black line that's kind of popping up from time I'm to time. I'm sure he knows about that. Oh, oh. I pressed. <laughs> read the chat. <laughs> you need a remote pause in your controller to read. Oh, my God. Actually, I played it on the DF cart with a Pokemon. Oh. Yeah. You need a remote pause on your controller to reach the chat. Oh, he said he's very delayed, so that's oh. why the things are way out of order. Yeah. It happens during some sprite overlap, I think. Yes, I, I no, oh, I'm noticing a little bit of sprite. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because the it's, it's barely noticeable, but you yeah. can just kind of see. Oh, I think there's a line. I like how they shake. They kind of go like this <laughs> as they come down. Do they, they wiggle. Kind of go. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. Very cute. They kind yeah. of shake back and forth. Like a dog <laughs> shaking off wiggle. water, you know? <laughs> oh, bye, Terry. <laughs> Little wet black scenes. I think you get more points for killing them without their, without killing their escorts. I'm mm. not sure. Because there's three points listed. There we go. Oof. This is lots of dive bombings. <laughs> Even on extreme, I don't find the game super hard. You well, know? I think Galaga <laughs> is expands on it on a much big in a bunch bigger way with different patterns. Yeah. This seems to be the same pattern, just more dive bombing. Yeah, I've never. This is the first time I've played this game, actually. Um, I've it's, rarely it's very played it. Similar to Galaga, but just less patterns, right? Yeah. Like, um, it's not changing up every level. 
No. And I don't know That's what I don't know what the music is. So I mean, I I presume the music in this. Yeah. If, when we start the game. Oh, is there is there no music during the? Gameplay? I don't think there is. Oh, no. Okay. It's a very early game. Oh. Okay. It's 1979. I don't think there was any music in any games yet. I even thought of doing it. Just, just, um... I think I read some... I can't remember what game, but we did read out at some point what the first music was in a, in a video game. Mm. Like an arcade game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill the escorts first and the flagship for max points. Oh, Only when they are escorts attacking. first. Yeah. Okay. But then if you don't get it, you lose... It goes to the next wave. It goes wave. to the next level, which makes sense because, Which you know. means there's more on the next wave because there's two by default on this one. Question. Yeah, the, this, there's so much room to navigate. Like, it's it's fairly easy to dodge all of the bullets and them. As long as you take out a, a I'm couple. I'm just not a fan of the... You shoot once and you have to wait till it runs off the screen until you can shoot again. That yeah. is definitely a style of gameplay that takes getting used to. Because <laughs> you're like, ah, you I kinda, can't shoot now. You have to kind of plan. You, you're timing out your shots. It does. It's great. It looks, it good. looks amazing and plays really well. That's how you do it. Oh, oh. Ran into him. Yeah, you didn't get the two escorts first. <laughs> I was though. too much concentrating on the. Yeah. Oh, you have to get the escorts first. The, the two escorts first oh, okay. for the most points. So there's a lot more uh, sound in the actual game. That's, that's missing in this version. Mm. So just sound, not music. Because when you said sounds missing, I, I assumed there was a background. Actually, there was a, there is music in this game. Is there? Um, but only when you're starting it. No, yeah, okay. But, but I don't think it's during the game. During the game, it's just I mean, Galaga doesn't have music during the game either. That's just the beginning but it's, of the waves. The, 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 yeah, each of wave the... has music, though. Does oh. this usually have music during the no, waves? Just, I don't, I, I've never played in the arcade. No, you're right. You're, I don't... It is Galaga's just at the beginning just of the, the beginning game. of the game. Never in the middle. Uh, no. When you complete a level, it plays some music. It does play some music. Yeah. I thought so. So, uh... That is Space Invaders Fire Mode. Hehe, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot once and wait. Shoot once and wait. But that is old school firepower. I think he needs to make a harder version <laughs> of this. Make it harder. Like, more things coming down or faster. Because this is... Like, for somebody, like, I'm not an expert at this game, but I'm playing it for a while on expert, which shouldn't happen. Uh, you should, like, an expert mode should be, like, just devastatingly hard, I think, anyway. That would be a funny funny detail to put into a parody movie, uh -huh. is, you know, someone shooting, but they can't take the next shot until the other shot <laughs> is landed somewhere. I think that would be hilarious. It would be quite an in-joke. It would be. <laughs> I don't know how you explain that. And on also, screen. I think no one under the age of like forty would get that joke. No, so, forty-five <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, you could explain it away like, oh, you're waiting for your shot to hit, like you're doing artillery or something. Yeah. And you're like, okay, now we have to move it a bit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like crank, yeah, yeah. crank it over. Crank it, set it up again. That's true. That's yeah. true. Back in the artillery days. Um, better than space fires birds randomly generated number, number of bullets, of bullets on, screen. on screen at once sometimes it'll stop you from firing, firing at all oh, oh no <laughs> that sounds terrible <laughs> uh but yeah it's 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 awesome it's really laser really good. recharge time yeah exactly i think uh, the hard level needs to be a lot harder in this there's a con constant humming sound and then the falling sound when they descend mm. in the game yeah, we should have, we should have showed an um, arcade version well, of we Galaxian. Well, no, you That's don't have to idea. now, but I, I, no, I, it's, um, it's not a game I, I, I know too much about. So No, because if there's Galaxian and Galaga side by side, I'm going to play Galaga. <laughs> uh, we both like Galaga. Right. Yeah. So let's take a look at Galaxian Arcade. Let me just pause it. And, uh, Galaxian. Oh, somebody recorded this a little stretched, I think. Oh, at least you can. So there's the music. Oh, nice. There's oh, the background sound. Oh, I like that, sound. yeah. And, which we didn't have. 
So there's a bunch of sounds missing still. Right? But I mean, the look is it's perfect, right? Still has that rrr, 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 like uh, Galaga sound going yeah. on there. I mean, this is a direct predecessor yes, to yes, Galaga. Yes, 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 yeah. yeah. Now I do know that. But... Okay, here's... Oh, he's not going to shoot me. <laughs> Whoa, he almost died. <laughs> I don't know how good this guy is. We'll see. Oh, it speeds up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Just want to see what happens if if he's gonna shoot the uh, the ship and let him get away. Oh no, he got it. Oh, we won't be able to see. Him. Let's fast forward quite a bit. Oh, he died. <laughs> okay, here we go. No, oh, no, shot one of them. Yeah, but you have to get both both of them, right? Yeah. Oh, disappeared. Okay. Oh, he shot it. Oh, well. Oh, sound went away. Down to the last one. I guess Let's the hum it... goes away when there's one left. That Which makes sense. Or no, they're all following. None. Oh, it's they're when not. They're, when they're in that flock the at the top, they have the humming, wah, 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 and then wah, 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 the humming wah, wah, wah. disappears. That's cool. No, she's not playing. But we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> no. You should play the extreme one. Me? Oh. Yeah. It's not, it's not much harder. Go for it. Hard? Uh, nope. Oh, it is, yeah, it's hard. Can I have five lives? Sure. I'm gonna die fast. Oh, yeah, we should play two players. Oh. Let's go back and play hard. Because I think it uses both choices. It's not both on the same screen. You're just flipping back and forth, right? No, there's two simultaneous, actually. Go, go up. What a crazy... Oh my you goodness. You want to do simultaneous? Yeah, yeah, because we've played single already, right? Sounds good. So I'm purple, and, and Ten is red. Non purple. So we should totally destroy in this in theory. game. In theory. <laughs> oh my god, I died. How did you manage that? Teamwork! That's right. How do I get you back? Uh, it just takes a bit. It takes until they're all back in the top. Oh. To reset, because they don't, I guess, is so you don't... So did the arcade... Oh, that was me. <laughs> arcade doesn't have simultaneous, actually. Uh... That's a bonus for this home version. <laughs> ah, I almost didn't I, even notice I, I was there. I love when you can add in two-player simultaneous to every game. And I've that seen you, seen that, that more develop, and more, yeah. right? Champ Games does it a lot. And um, some games you can't really do it, like Zookeeper mm. wouldn't be appropriate. Um, and same with Ladybug, but he added a second player um, using the enemies, right? Uh, playing the enemies. Keep thinking I get cornered, but I can go right through you, so... You can. It's easier to stay on your side, though. It is. Because I get confused. I know, I know. Once at least, pass at least the colors of the two ships are very pretty distinct. distinctive. It's not that bad, but uh No, it's not. Hard's not that bad. Ah. Especially with two players. <laughs> Try two player. She's mad. <laughs> oh, it went right into it. Did any of you see the Soul Crest of April Fools last year? No, I did not. There I'm back. Come on. Can be on this side then? Yep. Yeah. Co op Galaxian. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Yep. I it's great. I like it. Ah! Oh, I knew oh. I ran into that. Is that the last of me? No, I have one more. One more. Did I get an extra life? I thought I was down. Uh, I don't know what an extra life uh. is at. I don't think it's that low of a score. 5,000. Sometimes games are pretty generous with their first extra guy. 
But then the next one's up at like 20,000 or 50,000. Ran directly into that. I know. <laughs> I was talking. That's what happens. Stop missing. That's, that's good hints. Thanks. That's yeah. some good hints. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit the bullets. Stop oh. missing the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me, I think. Yep. Player, Player one, one game, over. game over. You suck. <laughs> Right in the middle of my screen, interfering. <laughs> you should be able to hit the game over. That's right. Shoot the shoot the letters, right? Mm -hmm. Should protect you from the falling bullets. Oh, oh. I couldn't move over anymore to the right. He had me cornered. I shouldn't well, have been that far over. I'm excited for starving, starving rhinos. <laughs> yes. It's in my head now. Great. The starving, starving rhinos. <laughs> Somebody's got to make that. Someone's got to develop starving, starving rhinos. Or I do. But that's quite uh, quite a lot of things to keep track of. Eight eight players. Eight uh, players? Well, I think four. I think just develop with it four. with four. Okay. Uh, that would be awesome. If if you do four, you could do joysticks, and you can move the rhinos up and down and left and right, yeah. depending on where you yeah, are. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A little further, a little... No, somebody stays in the top, all along the top, and somebody's on the right, somebody on the left. You can't, unfortunately, quantitate, quantitate how hard you hit the button, can you? Because that's no. really the, the, the fun of, of no. Hungry Hungry Hippos. You'd have to have an analog... Is smacking as hard as you can. <laughs> analog button, yeah. somehow. Yeah. It's a shame. Um, you could, if you, do, <laughs> if you hold down the button and you release, is how hard it hits. Uh, yeah, Because yeah. think of, like, Cannon Head Clash, where you oh, hold down the button. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, but that doesn't that, work that's well not with... good, because really you want to smack it really hard. I mean, that's the whole point. Instantly, right? Yeah. You want your hand to hurt by the end of the game, is basically... Yeah. That lever. Yeah, well, I'm going to play for a while, so... That's okay, keep going. Yeah? Keep okay. going, well, keep going. Yeah. It's too easy. <laughs> it's too I easy say that as I, as I lose You're gonna four die. lives. You can't say those things and not... This is so easy. No. So simple. Because <laughs> the play field's so big. What? Oh, um, hurting your hand, hitting the button to the Mario Party oh, when yes. you're playing all the mini games. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. There we go. I died. N64. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are done with this game. Awesome. Very cool. Yes. Love it. Um. Yeah, it's really coming along. Like it is. He did. All of this in like three days. Yeah. Wow. That quick. Wow. Uh, he was aiming to get this game done under a month, but um, so but he did under a month and he did in three days. No, he did that <laughs> much in three days. He That's wanted pretty to, good. He wanted yeah. to finish the game in a month. In a month. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go on to our third and last game. Okay. Go. Which is Wizard's Dungeon. Nice. And uh, this Ooh. is a build from today. No, we're not playing DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> we play Atari <laughs> games here, 2600 and 7800. DuckTales is a good game though. Um, this is by Bido Empire. This nice. is first posted December 30th, 2020. It's a 48K game. This is his first game. Mm. Um, let me get the graphics because Graphics going before the show. I always forget something. But I did get graphics. There we go. 7800. Go for it. Um, so, Wizard's Dungeon. Mm -hmm. um, you are an apprentice wizard betrayed by your teacher and cast into a dungeon of despair. Mm -hmm. For what purpose, you can only guess. He thought you would quickly perish at the jaws of many beasts of the maze, but you have an iron will. Mm -hmm. You also have quite a bit of magic left on in you. Use your feeble magic bolt spell to survive until you can acquire more weapons of magic. All right. Find the stairs in each maze. Um, you can see stuff on there. Find weapons. Find stairs to the next level. Graves restore ghosts' life. And there's one more screen. Gather treasure. Nice. Use special items. Nice. So there's a bunch of items. So go for it. Start it up. Oh, I have to switch back. Oh. Otherwise, your buttons don't work. Because that's the way things go. 
So there you are. He looks like the Wizard of War. He does, like the wizard in Wizard of War. Yeah. Uh, find the stairs in each maze to progress to the next level of the dungeon. Beware, each level gets harder and harder. Search for a way out of the dungeon, all the while collecting treasures and riches. You have no choice but to press on. Deeper and deeper you is explore. Is that treasure or is that going to kill me? No, nope, treasure. treasure. Excellent. Nothing, none of the pickups kill you, as Good. far as I know. There's no traps in the game yet. Um, you have no choice but to press on deeper, deeper you explore, but it's taking you closer to freedom or closer to doom. You start with only the magic bolt. Mm -hmm. Oh, good night, S. Ramirez. Ah! Oh, ah! you were paying attention. <laughs> I was, you were distracting me. What is that? Demon. What is that? With a Oh, with a I have a feeling stick. he doesn't look like he's easy to kill. Ah, ah, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Is that thing well there's bats and spiders and, and he's got horns and he's got and a horns stick. he he looks more uh dangerous <laughs> i can't apparently shoot in any direction here. they just regenerate leave the room they regenerate I forever and ever i know and ever. but i gotta get oh, past okay. them so your your score is on the bottom left your health is on the top Goodness. and it's rapidly decreasing I assume I just keep going for doors. Is there things to... Oh, there's a gravestone which will revive you. So Good. remember that because you're almost dead. I am almost dead. Um, hidden Ow. in each maze Ow. are... Well, you're not dead yet. So... What am I supposed to do? Can well, I kill him? I don't, I don't think I can kill him. Or do, right? I, do I keep just trying? Tough. He's just tough. I don't know. Have you played this? A little bit. Oh. Not very much. So, so you can kill him? You can. Yeah, you can kill all the enemies. Oh, goodness. But you'll get better weapons. Oh, you're almost dead. I would go back to that gravestone. You no, know, you don't get Stick anything back with the gravestone. No, when you die, you go, you back go to, to the it. gravestone yeah. and it resurrects you. You're not dead yet. So I know. It, so it gives you so nothing. There, it doesn't help me. But you're almost dead. So, so. I'm saying don't go too far. Because you won't be able to get back to the gravestone in time. Can to you resurrect kill that guy? yourself. Takes a lot of hits. I, I sound like my ten-year-old <laughs> nephew. Can you kill that guy? What about get that guy? Because you only have your magic bolt. You don't have a very good weapon yet. Well, That's I haven't found any weapons yet. Am I supposed to search things? Uh, no. There's no searching, as far as I know. Oh, I got him. Oh, you can shoot like multiple times. I'm thinking I'm still playing Galaxian. <laughs> like, like, oh no, my shot needs to land before I can shoot again. Ugh. There you go. That is a good question. Oh, oh, don't four. get too close to him. I can him. get him, hit him four times. <laughs> that how many it takes with the bolt here. Yeah. So the next, uh, hidden in the maze are arrows, which bounce off the walls. A sword, you can only swing left and right, but it does huge damage. Mm. And a fireball spell, which is the scroll. Oh, oh ring. That's a ring. I'll take uh, that. Find Thank all the you. coins, gold, and gems hidden in each uh, maze. Find all the magic items to increase your powers. Mm. So I think the ring might have helped you. Uh, potions refill health, which we haven't seen yet, which you need very badly. Yes, I do. Uh, finding the map will highlight rooms with gravestones and stairs when you go to the map screen. What? Map screen? Might be on a, might be the select button. We'll find out. Uh, the key will open chests for glorious gold and treasure and a thousand points. Oh, there's a new baddie. Oh, you're oh. almost dead. It's like ah, a ah. two, two health point. Oh my God, you almost died there. It's Very my lucky. fault. <laughs> I run into you. Oh, there's a oh, gravestone at You'll need at that. Least. I would stick right by here. Ah, ah, ah. Well, I don't think you have much choice. Purple tentacle. Somebody in the uh, forum comments um, asked for that to be made this? more purple. Oh. There are harder enemies in this. Oh my goodness. Pause button brings up the map. Oh, okay, oh, okay, thank you. Good to know. I haven't got there in the chat, in the uh, instructions yet. Oh, it's in the way. I don't know if it's Can you kill advantageous him? to die right now. Is because it? Because you would get all your health back. Or do you lose items? Which you don't really have any items yet. Mm -hmm. Enemy from that one... Yeah, it's, uh... Which one? The... Oh, 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 it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, come on. 
it's with the house and the kids. Oh. Hmm. That's good to know. You don't lose items when you die. You clear it. Ah! And one hit point. Damn it! I would just die. There we there. go. There, go back. Go, go. You have limited time. Oh, really? 26, 25. Oh, I didn't know 24. that. See, things you don't tell me. Well, I haven't finished the instructions yet. Oh, and you get, get it once. Ah, get out of the way. You didn't. No, I don't know these yet. I I have barely played this game. I didn't know you uh, lose your R your R. Well, there are quite a few of them, so that's good at least. You definitely don't start out with as much health as you originally did. You have twenty eight right now. Uh, rooms with special items have gates on the ah, outside. Ah, that's a lot of bad. Well, exit and come back in. It's true. I think it's one of those games where it resets, <laughs> resets the level. Bats are like one hit. Same with spiders. Yeah. Those are about eight, ten, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Fifteen, twenty hits. Oh, they're terrible. That's the fun. Not knowing who needs to read the manual. Exactly. <laughs> it's way more fun discovering it. Uh, control. Move your character with the joystick. Button one fires your selected weapon. But button two selects the next available weapon, which you haven't got yet. Uh, pause brings up the map screen. So let's check out pause. Oh. So you have a ring. That's it? Uh, I think blue is where you are. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Or blue okay. is, yeah, and the orange is resurrect. And I'm going, that makes, that makes sense. Yeah. Where did I start? Uh, don't know. Probably bottom. The bottom? Maybe. This original homebrew was inspired and is a combination of adventure, gateway to Apshai. Can you go back to that? Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, it shows but you I the exits. But I can go to the right, so I haven't... And the left. I haven't... The places I haven't been, oh. it doesn't show me. Actually, that's the only place you haven't been. Oh, there's one on the bottom right. Mm. Or the middle right. Okay. Well, let's see what's in the room to the right. Ah! He... Sometimes they spawn right oh, next to you. They're, like, there's not a lot you can do about that. Not really. Um, and perhaps a bit of Tutankhamen thrown ooh, in. Ooh, Tutankhamen ooh. thrown it's in. It's a scroll. Ooh. That's probably map. Oh, no. It's not. I don't know what the map does. What's the game? It's driving me crazy. First was on the NES. It was put out. Uh, Maniac Mansion. That was it. That's oh, where you that, that is game. from. Didn't you play that game? Oh, I played it a lot. I did not finish it because it's it's it was challenging, but it was super fun. And then the second one was Day of the Tentacle. Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, the uh, sequel. They're both really really good games. Oh come on! Just <laughs> fighting them gives you nothing. It gives no? you points. Well, points are important. Eh, not nothing. as much as surviving. Ah! Oh my stop. God! Spawning on top of me. You need to make it back to the oh, gravestone as soon as you can. That's obnoxious. So, Just, so if you don't get back to the, oh no, I'm dead. Yeah, pretty much. One hundred percent dead. You you don't have to worry about enemies. You just have to go go go. Or you can go through walls too. Do you want to Where look at the map? Uh, up. Up. Okay. Up or yeah, up. Oh. Not a fan of respawning monsters. Gauntlet is okay because you can kill the generators. Yes. Okay, you want to see the map again? Nope. Okay. Oh, they yeah. spawn right on top of you. That's crazy. Yeah, it's... That's not the greatest, but... Challenging. Uh... Yeah, the way Gauntlet handles it is really nice. Hmm. Where it's a generator making the monsters. I, I, they seem to that. spawn from one place. Like, you see, it's over not in the left. Not always, not always, though. Or multiple places. Yeah. See, same yeah. spot. Ooh, a chest. You haven't got a key oh, yet. I have stuff to... Oh, really? Yeah. Is there a key? Yeah, you have to get a key. Mm. You have to wait for the gates to open first in this level. There you go. Run. This oh, look great. at all those purple tentacles. They require... Oh, stairs. I wouldn't go... No, not yet. yet. Because you haven't explored the whole level. And it's going to be harder in the next level. Get more of a roguelike... Uh, M with action. <laughs> the spawning right on top of you isn't very fair. Yeah, it could do a... 
proximity. Good pause. Yeah, or or spawn from a point. Ooh, what's that? Looks like a potion. Oh, then you need that. That would be very helpful. How much does it? 130. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is better. That's really good. You need a better weapon though. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, see, there's a spawn point. Oh gosh, there's too many of them. Get out of the way. <laughs> What if there's a... Oh, get away! Get away! Oh my goodness, I'm dead. Totally dead. There's no way I'm going to make it back. Maybe. Need the map? Don't have to avoid anything. Oh, I don't know. Go through the yeah, walls. Yeah, I do need the map. I have no idea. You don't, you don't have to go through the walls. Go through the mean? walls. You're a ghost. <laughs> don't have to waste time. But I time. don't know where I'm going. I need the map. Oh, I asked you. And yeah, I'm screwed. Down, right, up. Yeah, I'm screwed. No. You can do it. Eight. I don't. Look seven. how slow I'm moving. You can do it. Oh, you can't go through those walls. Can't go through the outside. One more. One. No. Oh. No, it's not one more. It's two more. Ah. Okay, your turn. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> hold on, everyone. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> oh, I got the scroll right away. Oh, a thousand points. I don't know what the scroll does. We will find out. This is more roguelike with fixed dungeon paths. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same map every time. Not sure. No, that's different. I don't remember that youth shape. So it, I think it is randomish. And I definitely didn't get the, the scroll on the first. She didn't get the scroll right away, so. And I know that fighting enemies in a room is a waste of time and possibly your health. And you only should go after the enemies when you need to clear a path. You're trying to get better weapons for when you go to the next lower dungeons. How did your wizard turn blue? That is new. Yeah, he's. this is uh, released today. Oh, nice. What? 50? 10, you got 100 extra. Oh my god. Yeah, this this is today's brand new release. This is in the forums if you do want to download this new version. Uh, he released it a couple hours before the show. This game? Yeah. Wow. I just got a potion and it gave me three. Three extra. You got a hundred extra. Terrible. Really? It, it maxed me up to 50. Oh, oh, you know what? I think you are on a higher max level of health. Maybe. Because you got something that I didn't have yet. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah like depending on your, your score level or something. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Random, but all the rooms are in cardinal directions. Yeah, it's all north, south, east, west. Mm -hmm. So I think there's some sort of um, path generation. No, oh, he takes no, like eight you. hits, or he takes a lot of hits. Yep, clears the room. It does, which keeps, is definitely a tactic. Keeps the treasure, but moves the treasure. So the treasure is randomly placed. It's let's, all it all respawns. Let's see, well, that's in the exact same spot every time. Maybe it just depends. So I don't know what this is. Might be just a gem. Might mm -hmm. give me powers. Nope, just, just points. So is it random? The the maze, maze? layout is random. So yeah. it is completely re reconstructed. Ah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Oh, I can go around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to run around this wall. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Teleporting treasure. Feature? Hey, it's magic. Anything can happen. <laughs> that is true. There is magic in the game. Yes. Um, it is a magical dungeon. Should I go down? Yep, because the tentacle's up, so I'm going down. This looks like birdseed from uh, Roadrunner. Bird you know the piles of birdseed? It's bird a pile seed of gold. The, I know it's a pile of gold. That the coyote would put out. Mm. The wily coyote. This looks like it's just timed. Because I thought, oh, maybe it you is. have to kill a certain number of monsters, but no, no, it, it's, it's just timed. timed. Yeah. Ah, oh, really? Those guys. Those guys. Let's see if the resets. The cat is going for the HDMI cable. <laughs> hey! Psst. He's Kitty. like looking directly at it. Oh, it's okay. I'll get him. Psst, psst, psst. You, you keep playing. Oh, it's it's. They stay open. Nice. What stays open? The gates. They don't reset. Oh, if you come back. Yep. Ha ha ha. Big old bag of R.I.P. <laughs> There's your um. 
Nothing. Nothing. Oh, you're at full health. Oh. You need more points. See? You were getting mad at me for killing all those monsters, and yet somehow uh, that seemed to be hmm. advantageous. Because I got be like a right. hundred. You did, and that's weird. So you probably level up. Wasted two of them now. Really? Last time I got three well, points. Because you didn't you didn't get killed, whereas I just continually run into monsters, so True. Maybe I should just Yeah. Grind. Huh? <laughs> grind away. <laughs> Sit at the edge of a screen and grind. If I get overwhelmed, I just run away. Mm -hmm. you... Ah! Unfair! I told it's you. It's a spawn point at the exit. <laughs> I love your Wizard of War, though. <laughs> he is. He's great. He's great. How many frames of animation? Two. Wow. It's really good for only two frames of animation. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really good. It looks good. Okay. Looks like you can kill everything in a room, or at least that room. Let's see what happens. At least it's not like um, Gauntlet where your health is constantly going down. Mm. Oh my god, that game. Ah! Ah! You have to hit him four times. Ah, see, I'm doing your tactic of hitting things, like trying to destroy things. You don't have to do that tactic. <laughs> I, want I just more like health. killing things. I, I always feel like I have to destroy everything in the room, which is not necessarily the best approach to most games. Your grinding chi was defeated by a spawn point. It yeah. was. Okay, pink tentacle. He takes like eight. Does he? Oh, you've defeated one? Yeah. Well, that's oh, like it takes 10. a lot. That's like Maybe 10 or 16? 15 now. Try 16. <laughs> 16. There we there go. There we go. Powers of two. <laughs> powers of two. It's like one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. That's right. Because then they he only has to store them as um, simple bit values. Ooh, Ooh he dropped you got something. Interesting. That's the first time we've seen that. Oh. I think you can clear a room. Yeah. I haven't seen, seen a truly terrifying monster. Not Did yet. Did you play Asphy this... and the Mamba Snake Vampire, etc. that ran at you super fast? Doom had the invisible purple dog beast. <laughs> yes. I do not play horror games. This... I'm... I... 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 You played Half-Life, was it? Yep. I'm like, I can't watch you play that game. That one's it, not too bad. Oh, it scares me. It's... I don't like things that... I don't like jump scares. I do not like games. Like, I love the Fallout series of games. But things They're still jump jumpy. out at you, and um, especially when you're down in the... Um, that guy gets fast when he gets close to you. He does. Um, yeah, I'm racking up the, the points. In the shelters, when you're in the fallout shelters. Oh, underground? Underground. In the and subways? The subways are bad, and the fallout shelters are bad. I'm just way too jumpy. I cannot play and like be terrified okay. at the same time. I'm not grinding. That's too boring. <laughs> don't You don't have to grind. Yeah. Ah! Oh God! Need a potion now. I, I, I think I think the Friday the Thirteenth game was scary enough for me, on on this on this uh, the twenty six hundred. Oh, <laughs> Friday the oh that because doesn't no Texas Chainsaw Massacre was it? No, I thought it was Friday the Thirteenth. Was it? No, we it was know. one of those. It, it was a Texas Chainsaw where they cha Massacre. chase. No, no, it wasn't. There was no chainsaw. It was Friday yeah. the Thirteenth or Halloween or one of those. Uh, oh, oh Halloween. Halloween! That's what it was. Yeah, it was hallways, right? The hallways. Yeah, and you have to yeah. run away from uh, what is it, Freddy? I don't know. Freddy. <laughs> I don't know. Mike Myers, Mike Freddy. Myers. They're all the same. The Canadian comedian. The Canadian. <laughs> Mike Myers. He's very frightening. Is it Mike Myers? Yes. Jason. No. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Myers. Not Mike. Halloween Myers. is. Uh, I can't remember which one's Jason. Which. Jason. Right. Jason. <laughs> can tell we don't watch a lot of horror films. I am not a horror ah. film fan. Well, there's the stairs. I haven't found any weapons. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, it was Halloween. I'm going to explore Knife, a little bit Mike more. Knife Mike Myers. Is it Mike Myers? <laughs> it's not Mike Myers. <laughs> what is it? It's killing me now. Someone Myers. Oh, a weapon. Oh, good. I have no health. Uh. Oh. What? I didn't you know I doing, had. Buddy? Didn't know what I even picked up. Uh... You up to? Nice. Oh, come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, sweetie. Says, Don't pick me up. I'm a little cat. Billy Halloween. 
<laughs> Billy Halloween. <laughs> Oh, that's way more powerful. It's like half the shots I need to do. Arrows bounce off the walls. Mm. So that's an arrow. Had the knife, Mike Myers. <laughs> Is that his name, Mike Myers? It's one of them. Michael Myers? Michael Myers. Oh. Got a... So I've got three weapons it? now. One is the arrow, which bounces off the walls. If I can hit one. There we go. And this one, which shoots very fast and is very powerful. So I'm going to keep on that one. Maybe I'll go down a level. Oh, there's a key. I haven't encountered the chest yet, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Six. Oh yeah, this is way better. There, mm -hmm. somebody uh, spelt it out completely. Friday the 13th equals Jason. Halloween equals Michael, Michael Myers. Michael Myers, it is Texas Michael Chainsaw Myers. Texas Chainsaw Massacre equals Leatherface. Leather face. That's what I said, it is Michael Myers. Yeah. I said Mike Myers, but same thing. <laughs> yeah. If you're uh, buddies with him. Yeah. <laughs> of course I am. And oh dead. God. Press pause, please. Select. Pause. pause. Where are you? Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Down, That's down, I'm. down. Right, down, down, down. Down. Left, left, oh. down. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I'm dead. Ready? Yep. Can you go through? No, you can't go through walls, can you? Right, down. Oh, so slow. Oh, there's no way. So slow. Down. Down, then, then left. One more, and then left. And then down, down. Maybe, but I don't left think so. Left, two. Oh, I got cut on the wall. I can... Oh, maybe not. And then up. <laughs> nope. <sighs> you want to play again? We have to go to the next level as soon as we find <laughs> the stairs. <laughs> okay. Ghost needs to move faster, me thinks. I mm -hmm. think so. That's a bit... That's a bit slow. Or... Maybe it's expecting you to stick around. Go, go, go. Stick around um, and kill yourself around the the uh, the gravestones. I mean, you don't want to because it gets rid of a gravestone. I do like that mechanic though, having the gravestones are there in yeah. random locations. That's kind of a neat it's really way cool. Of... Giving extra lives. Yeah. Without like just giving them to you. So I've got some hints and secret info that Bido Empire yeah. passed along for Excellent. just this stream. Oh, that's very nice. Thank uh, you. We like we like cheats. Yep. <laughs> and he isn't going to post these in the forum. Oh. It's just for the show. Oh. Uh, four new magic items were added. The magic ring, the magic hat, a staff, and a cloak. Each has a specific, specific power. For example, the magic ring allows you to move faster. While keys to chests and maps are specific to each level, you lose them when descending, you will keep the magic items you find along the way. This might be an incentive to search the whole level, not just take the stairs when you see them. Exactly. Yeah. On later levels, you'll see golems, slow but super strong, and cobras. Mm. A host of other monsters are planned, pending ROM space. I've drastically rewritten enemies and items spawning code so that the game should ease you in better in the beginning while getting much tougher later on, as well as facilitate some surprises in later levels. There are currently four levels, but the game will continue to loop through them and get harder and harder. Level one is the caves. This is what we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Level two is the gray dungeon. Level three is the slimy subterranean forest. And level four is the mystic realm. So let's try and least get to level two, if not level three. And we'll just take the stairs. No, because I need I need weapons. I have a feeling I won't be able to get very far without the weapons. True. You might be able to switch, right? Try switching when you're in a safe zone. Oh, come on. It, it's spawning right by the... Yeah, reset the room. No, it, they're spawning by the diamond. Yep. Maybe the spawn zones will change. That would be nice. I'm going to pay attention to the spawn zones. One's on the right, complete right-hand side. 
And before it was on the left hand side. I bet he. Oh, his bats are fast. Well, no, it's they just spawn on top of you sometimes. <laughs> oh, diagonals seem Bottom. faster. Is that just me? Ooh, you may have found a uh, cheat. A cheat to go through levels faster. Oh come on! Weapon weapons reset each level, so it won't do you any good. Weapons reset each level. Scary monsters are coming. Hi. Oh, he says pets. More pets, please. You change weapons with the second with the second button, if you have them. Uh, you may not have any yet. I do not. So the score reset issue has been corrected. Then, yeah, I I don't see any. Uh, this is the first RIP I found. I haven't seen any um, score issues so far. As soon as you move the room, I'm gonna go to the pause just to confirm. Yeah, it is the brown. Is the oh. sorry. <laughs> The browns are the gravestone, and the blue is where you are. Where are you going? Um, I just want to see what's up there. Oh, oh, another, whoa, two gravestones in a row. That's I not... know, because I, I, that's like the first one I've seen. Ah, ha, ha, right on top of me. From what I've seen, the spawn points, top, bottom, left, right, and middle. And if something's blocking them, it takes a lot of hits. I know. Oh, good night, Miss Command. Yes, good night. Thank oh, you for coming. You scored reset when you went to new levels. Oh, we haven't gone to a new level. So oh, dead end. We don't Wonderful. Know yet. I'm sure he's fixed that. This one's a dead end. There's nothing here. Run! Ah, <laughs> tentacle's great. Yeah. Looks like it has like three or four um, frames of animation. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Bug! Let's try Something happened there. Oh yeah. Oh it's, no! It's dead. Frozen. It's weird it froze. Yeah. Oh well. My turn! <laughs> well. Right away, bit has to sign off. Oh no! Great stuff from the 7800 yes. Horizons. Thanks for sharing these work in progress games. Popeye looks especially amazing. Yes. yes. And so does this. This game is is cool. It's really fun. It is. It when it, if you first put it out, it was just like um, a guy running through some rooms, Mazes. yeah, yeah, killing creatures. There's no, no treasure. I was like, hmm, interesting. You can never judge a game by its first releases, like its first little incarnations. Because mm, yeah, that's true. This is this is like a proper proper um, mm -hmm. maze dungeon As crawling you say, game, like, like a roguelike game. Yeah, and also everything's sort of. Um, I like games like and this. And it is where randomized. It's randomized, and so every time you play it, it's going to be a little different. It might yep. be harder. It might be easier. Yeah. And it keeps you coming yeah. back to it because you don't know what kind of game you're, gameplay you're going to have. So. Exactly, because the gravestones are randomly placed. Yes. You don't know if they're going to be clumping, they're going to be far away yeah. from you when you die. I, I like games like that. They yep. have a real mm -hmm. feel of... Um... Lots of replay. Mm -hmm. Let me have... <laughs> <laughs> Diablo was just a mouse-clicking simulator. <laughs> click, 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 click. No, no, no second weapon. I had three weapons. Well, I did pick up the bow. But I somehow got the um, the fireball, mm -hmm. um, and that just came with experience points, I guess. I don't remember picking up anything that looked like a fireball. I got all the healing potions mm -hmm. before I even leveled up, which was very dismaying. <laughs> uh, there's a spawn point. Top. Top, middle, and then there's a, yep, they're in the corners. 
Like there's one in the middle there. There's one on the right. The yeah. spider just came from. That one came from the top. They seem, but do you think the spawn points are random too? Or are they specific? Like, like they, they could be specific, but randomly chosen as spawn points. Or no, they could be specific to the rooms. They could be. I think he gets Cause... rid of them based on what's in the room. Oh, ah, ah, run away. Like if there's walls over top of an area, he won't have it. Nice. RIP. Like, so you should stay not at the sides, not in the middle, mm. to guarantee that you're not going to... Like, there might be one down here. Let's have to watch. Ooh, Ooh what is that? That might be the... Yep. So the scroll is Gives for the, the fireball. fireball. Ooh, it still takes a lot to kill that dude. Yep. Fewer fireballs, but still. How many for this guy? Uh, Run away. Two, I think. Three, four. four. Oh my god, come on. Ah, stuck Run. a wall. <laughs> I do want to kill him. It's already damaged him. Oh, look at that bat. What? The bat was floating above where my fireball could yeah. hit. Uh, that is annoying. <laughs> But, oh, two I mean, for that guy. I think it's half. I think it's half. Yes. Yeah, it's half what you normally need. Nice. Yep. No! Did you die? No, oh, it, it froze. froze again. What? Uh, when did it freeze last time? When we were exiting a, a, a screen as well? I think I was at the bottom yep. of a screen. Yeah. I think it might be going into an area that may not exist. You think? No, because I was going back into a room I had already been in. Really? Yeah. But I was I was around the same placement towards the bottom of the screen, and there was one, maybe one, monster on the screen. Yeah. So and there was one monster on that screen. So I don't know, I don't know. Something some bugs are fun. <laughs> you know you gotta you gotta. Yep. Yeah. It's funny we got those right away. One more game then. I want to get the stairs. Captain Class said, this is a nice start, but to push to greatness, it seems the different weapons have a little difference, have little difference in the first level. Uh, maybe this changes for D2, D3. I definitely think the fireball is helpful because it seems to have the number of shots, but, uh, ooh, 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 those baddies. Yep. Uh, diagonals are faster. <laughs> he needs to fix that. They are faster. Yep, they are. Actually, I think, I think that up and down should be a little faster. I think he should be able to move a little bit faster yeah. relative to the monsters. I think that would actually I want to do a good make test. the first level a little easier. The first level is fairly Because you get overwhelmed. You get overwhelmed with monsters sometimes just because they spawn so fast. Ah, and they like spawn that. on top of you or yes. in, directly in front of you. But, uh, yeah. Move downward and upward diagonally. Hey, <laughs> hey. You move faster. You do. You definitely move faster diagonally. Ugh. You can shoot diagonally, too. You can. But that's harder to line up your shot, I find. A key. Yay! Key. For a chest. That we don't know where it is yet. No. Usually we, ah! find, usually, ah! Ah, we find the chest. Damn it. That's a spawn point. I think their spawn points are placed so you don't hang around the exits. Maybe. Or it's just randomly. They seem to be um, so in a cross doing. shape in front of each of the exits. I mean, yeah. Bottom, bottom, side, side. They seem to be... Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's where There's they There's one in the middle, too, sometimes. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Do, you need, you, do you need the... Uh... Map? No. No? I need to clear this level. There we go. <laughs> oh, but you can use the sword to kill spiders through the walls. Crossbow 777 has some ah. tricks. Ah. Well, I, when I get the sword again. Ooh, fireball burns mummies or lights the cavern. James's favorite, dark caverns. It froze. Oh, did it? Entering a room. Weird. Yeah. So it's not... It's not exiting a room. Oh, no. It's just... It does seem to be on the edges of a room, though. Is this played on hardware a lot? The, the people who've played this game, <laughs> have you played it in emulation? Because I'm wondering if maybe this is a hardware issue? I don't know. When he, mm. when he first put the, put the game out, it was freezing at certain points. Mm. Do I don't know if older, it's related to that. Do you have an older... Build, not on the card. No? Okay. I mean, this one's very different than DF the last card. build. Okay, so on the 7800. And that's have weird. never had a freeze, though? Yeah, it's three times in a row, so that's a little little strange. But It uh, is. 
Hmm, we're doing something wrong. It's clearly, <laughs> clearly what's it's happening. Us? Yeah. Yeah. One more. One more. Because I want to play this. I want to get to another Maybe level. Maybe because it's warm. <laughs> I want to see another level. Yeah. Not played the newest release. Ah, okay. He may maybe, have introduced maybe bugs. Maybe there's a couple of bugs in the newest release, though. Yeah. Well, that's something good for you to try. Download the newest release. Mm. I don't Ooh. need that right now. You can leave it. Yeah, I think I could. You could always actually. go back to it because often rooms do loop back to back to each other. Hmm. Possibly. I wonder if the whole maze is laid out with the rewards already in it. Like, like, like the rooms? The potion is there and it's going to be there for the whole time. It doesn't seem to be the case though because. Like they're randomly assigned when you go in it? They seem to be. No, I mean, it's not. It's not, it's not stored in memory, but it's he, set to the room. He generates the whole level map at once. Well, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stick in this. Corners seem to be safe. So it's got a generator on the left, mm -hmm. the right, and the top so far. So Crossbow says this could be a new bug. I told him I would try it when I could, as I've been giving him bug reports over, ah. the, over the past week. So. Now, do the generators yeah. generate at a steady rate? If you are low on health, rate? get killed the next time you're in a gravestone room. Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, that that's makes, what I thought. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's what I thought. Is yeah. it unlimited, then, as long as you can get to a gravestone? Yeah, but there's only so many gravestones. Yes. Ooh, you can go back. <gasps> you can see what's in the treasure chest. I can. You want to do that. I do. Come on, come up here. I like the... Uh, Devils. The, de the demons. I'll call them demons. <laughs> the walking demons. Demons with walking sticks. <laughs> That's right. They're rowing their way across the level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the gravestone does go away when you use it, which is understandable. What'd you get? Thousand. It's oh. fine. Just just gold it's then. It's not super or, or large experience, amounts. I guess it is. Yeah, ex it's experience because nothing is. Well, I guess it's gold, but you get gold from uh, you know the innards of the bat, like oh. you, as one does. That's right. Oh um, yeah, all these things are swallowing gold pieces. What What is the worst for that Skyrim? Right, like the Elder oh, there's, Scrolls, you there's kill crabs, things all the time, and you find wolves that have cold. You, it's like oh, there's a there's a penny in the crab stomach. <laughs> And they have really random items, too. I like love not that. Not even gold. Yeah, like, yeah, I love like, that. What is, what is a crab I, doing with that? I was just complaining. I need a more modern uh, RPG to play. And I am really tempted to start... Now I can move faster. Yeah. To play... To go back to Skyrim again. Well, it's good. It is good. And I just... Nothing's, nothing's appealing to me right now. Do you like adventure games? Not, not modern? I like RPGs. Yeah. Like with magic. I like... Like, I really enjoyed Fallout and so The Elder not, Scrolls, and Fallout's Dragon Age magic. is one of my favorite games because of the characters. Um, and I just haven't and found Witcher anything. Witcher 3 was great. So and, something along um, those lines. The one with the girl with the red hair and the uh, oh, dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <sighs> Dinosaur Rider game. Yeah, I can't remember now. That was great. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. Excellent game. I just, there's there's nothing nothing out there right now that's appealing to me. Yeah, it takes years. Thank you, Crossbow. Horizon Zero Dawn is a beautiful game. Yeah, it takes years and years and years to make those games, so. I know, and they're not, it feels. It's just nothing right I now. I know Cyberpunk came out, Sword. but. Um, we don't have anything to run it on. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the problem. Um, Very Apshai, the uh, sword. That's exactly how the Apshai? sword. Apshai? Temple of Apshai. Oh, it's an awesome game. I don't know. It's... I really, really want a Dragon Age, a new Dragon Age game. Everything they come out with now are online games, which is Whoa, so... Whoa, look at that. You, you killed a bunch at once. Two oh. at once with the sword. Nice. One hit. Oh, yeah, I'm sticking with the sword. Because usually I only shoot them when they're close to me. Oh, my God. Oh. F off. You can only do it to the side. You can't do up and down. Oh, really? So that's mm. a bit of a... You can swap them, though, okay? Yep, anytime. With the with the second with the button. button, yeah. Oh, nice. So you can shoot. I think shooting is. Do you have the fireball? No. No. I want to see how it does it to the to the pink you're demon. To, you're gonna have to. One oh. hit. Oh yeah. I'm still. Oh. <gasps> Careful. 
But you get too close. Oh, there's a potion. Perfect. Please. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, no. Bye, That's anyway, okay. That's the end. I need RPG suggest suggestions. So there you go. There's Wizard's Dungeon. Uh, it's downloadable right now. Mm. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Interesting. Crossbow. <laughs> That's fourth fourth time? Yeah. Yeah. So there's definitely a bug in there somewhere. Or it's our system. It could be. Or yeah. who knows? The we'll concerto see. cart by 7800. You put the 50. But that's a poke. I always want to say poke and, poke. It, and then I immediately want a bowl of poke. <laughs> a pokey. It's a pokey, pokey chip. The pokey. A bowl of poke. A bowl of poke. Um, yeah. I doubt it's the pokey chip. Mm. Um, it could be, could be anything. I wouldn't think so, but could be anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would definitely download that and play it. Uh, previous builds, I got to at least the third dungeon before yeah. I died. Oh. Well, the Thank last, you, Dan. The, the last four times, um, it did freeze. Like you didn't die. <laughs> so. But the first bunch of times, it was fine. Too. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get to the second level though. So I don't yeah. know. Freezing. Oh, the poll, the, the poll. The poll is yeah. done. What does the poll say? Uh, the, oh, it's tied for first. Uh, oh, really? 2,600 compatible joysticks. Oh, that tied jumped around. for Genesis adapter. Yeah, that one went up quite a bit. Yeah. Um, second place, third party joysticks. Fourth place, I made my own two button joystick. And last is the pain line controllers with probably one vote. One vote. Because they're stuck with them. <laughs> Um, so, what do we have coming up? We have a 2600 day. I'm going to be alternating, I think, back and yeah. forth. 7800, 2600, 7800, 2600. Makes it easy for me. We can stick with one system. Hmm. Uh, so, next one, we have an exclusive work in progress. Um, K. Joe chases the cheeses. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> yeah, you'll That's got to be a mouse. It's a mouse. Yeah, of course. Need more 8 bit eventually. Yeah, I, mo <laughs> my main ones are going to be 2,600 and 7,800. Um, but once in a while, we'll throw in an 8-bit eight eight day. Bit. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Uh, we're gonna, we have an exclusive update for Space Pac-Man. Okay. Pac-Man falling from space. I it's love, weird that. I love premise. Space Pac- No, it's fun, Crazy though. It's premise. really it's good. really fun. Yeah. Uh, Slide Boy in Mazeland. I've been yeah. looking at yes. that. Yeah. And Vectrex. Yeah, yes, that, we need some Vectrex in definitely there. Definitely be coming up. But you I have, have a, some Vectrex homebrew, so I think we need to figure out a way to... I have to... a pile of Vectrex homebrew, and one on the way as well. Oh, yeah, Which I'm very right. excited about. It's a shooter. Yeah. It's got amazing music. Mm -hmm. um, so I just need to point a camera at the Vectrex. Yeah. And uh, then we play it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be playing Slide Boy in Mazeland, VHZC's newest game. Mm -hmm. been drooling at playing that on the show because of, we've had the award show and then I had a 7800 day today so it's been a while since we played 2600 games vector blade that's the one <laughs> it's awesome oh my god it's such a good game vector blade mm. i've seen many many videos of it mm -hmm. when you film the vecchi you need to set the frame rate less than 30 per frames per second to reduce the flicker oh yeah yeah definitely you, you yeah, want to that makes sense make sure it has the persistence and, yes and, and keeps that glow yeah Made a quick vid on it the other day. Yeah, nice. I've been watching videos on on YouTube of uh, Vector Blade. I showed showed you. Yes. One of them. Yeah, it's yeah. Amazing. It looks really cool. Good variety. Great bosses. Amazing music. Yeah. Great graphics. Uh, and we'll be playing the exclusive final binary of Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days next episode. So we got two VHZ games. Three exclusives. It's gonna be big. Oh yes, I'll do the buzz off and audio tap install. It doesn't look too bad, so I could probably do that in a couple hours. Now that I'm getting better at soldering and stuff. Oh yeah, you were saying that. So yeah, if yeah, I have yeah. free time, maybe I'll do it this weekend because I've got all the equipment. You've got the right buzz off, there. right? Yep. Yeah. And the Vec tap audio tap, so I can nice. hook it directly up, and people will be able to hear the Vectrex directly. Oh really? It won't just be on a microphone. The yeah. sound. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have yeah. to have it figure out so we can hear it too. Yeah. Actually, that I'll just plug it in exactly how I do this. With a speaker. Yeah, instead of the uh, Vec, not Vec Voice, thinking Vectrex now. Yeah. Atari Vox, which yeah. it doubles as Vec Voice. Um, through that, mm. and then it goes into the mixing board. Cool. Yep. And mm. in stu pseudo stereo. Yeah. Yes. I was w watching Vector Blade, and I was like, is this in stereo? And it is. It had things in the left and really? the right. Really? You're wow. just making up V words now. <laughs> I am. Um, 
<laughs> um, and then we're going to be playing uh, a bunch of games. I don't know. Dragon Hunt, Nose Hair, Hellway, Heart Light, Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Edition, uh, EXO when we get the Dragonfly Cart, which I'm sure it'll be here in a week and a half. I don't know. Dragon's Havoc, that's shaping up a nice shooter um, from uh, Revan Thule. It's a 7800 game where you can play two players, dragons, a horizontal shooter. Mm. Very fun. Uh, in March and April, we have a developer spotlight, Bob De Crescenzo. Um So when everything kind of calms down, settles a bit, mm. which it's doing pretty good, and uh, get enough time to plan that out. That will be a nice interview. He's got lots of games to talk about. Um, I think exclusively all 7,800 games. I think he's made some 2,600. Mm. And maybe uh, he'll be done with Galaxian by then, for sure. Because mm. it sounds like he's on the precipice of finishing it now. Probably be on to his next game. <clears throat> um, and some other events that I can't talk about. And... Tons of 7,800 games and 2,600 games I need to catch up on. There's so many being put out. Yeah. It was kind of good you took that break because there was there was a slump a little bit there right was before Christmas. A big and slump. now all the games are coming out again. So. Yeah, people lots have had their and breaks. Lots and lots. Yeah. And now they're making them again. Yeah. Um, That's good stuff. Yeah. It's good to have lots of things to play. <laughs> it, it is. Yeah. There's no lack of that. No. So, Dr. Moo Cows, Crossbow. Dan ABC, pull Matt Bot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Classic, uh, By to 8 Bit, yes. Miss Command. Thank you all for watching. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anybody else in the chat? Uh, Slit Lip came in and said in. some crazy stuff for a bit. Yeah. Nice uh, to have people drop in, though. Just kind of randomly is cool, too. Yeah. Septic it doesn't Lemon seem too. like they were expecting Atari 2600 nope. games. <laughs> <laughs> They're like N64 and NES games, but like, they nope. seem to enjoy yeah. watching play 7800 games. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Septic Lemon. That's yeah. a new name. S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. That's right. And uh, we'll be back on Woo! Friday. Oh, yeah. we got to use all the... Yes. All the icons. <laughs> all the icons. There's all our icons nice. now. Well, you're very welcome, Dr. Moo right. yeah. yeah. Well... Good games make a good show. Yes. So I'm glad we had some great games. We played Popeye, which is astounding. Yes. Beautiful looking. Beautiful. Graphics, sound, gameplay is so good. Galaxian, uh, hard hard needs to be harder. <laughs> Much well, I harder. I it was hard, but sure. <laughs> Much harder. I yeah. survived way too long on hard. I should be dying. Dying terribly. Is that usually the arcade is like that? or? Uh, no. No, the arcade would be one. I, I, yeah. Like, the arcade should be at that level. You think? That's too easy for an arcade game. I don't know. Because they should be, like, yeah, eating up your quarters. Yeah, but how far did you get? You quit before you kept going. I'm, it gets harder and harder. I'm sure you hit a level where mm. everything's just coming down at you. He's not done yet. He, he may yeah. need still to be doing some balancing, yeah. game balancing. I'm sure it gets harder. Um, but you quit it before you got too far, so. Yeah. Yeah. Wizard's Dungeon, awesome. Uh, wish it wasn't freezing. Yeah. We really wanted to see more Level levels, and... unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so but he'll maybe. be able to see this and see if I can recreate it or yeah. he can notice where it froze yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And then we can play it again and, and yep. try to get down to the, the, the subsequent fourth, fourth dungeon level. levels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, great, great games today. Excellent. So um, we'll be back on Friday, mm -hmm. 6 p.m., same time. Mm -hmm. um, what, what day is that? I hear cats upstairs. I hear Friday. something upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mice. Get them. Get those mice. Friday the 19th. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and we will uh, see you then. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. everyone. Bye.